Howdy folks, uh, today is the 14th session of Deep Blues, an Apocalypse World Adventure. Uh, joining you today is, as usual, myself, Josie, uh, my friends, uh, Wind. Hello. Seth. Hey. And Apon. Hey, yo. So, weird shit happened last session, huh? Yeah, it was fun. Somebody broke my yeah, lockbox, I'm still annoyed. Listen, that's fine, it's okay, it's just a lockbox, don't it's worry about it. It's a very important lockbox, Dewey, I keep important stuff in there. It'll That's where he keeps his taxes, goddammit. <laughs> but the taxes weren't touched. Taxes are still there. I wish H Only I wish one H thing H was taken. Done my taxes instead of my cocaine. <laughs> Do you think H Well, look, H everybody did it. the cocaine, so it's yeah, fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Sharing okay. is caring. Yeah, Rusty's uh, the kind of guy who would share. Okay. God, so you, you I guys know that, him. I believe that at least one of you got an improvement. I did. I. Uh, we both did, I think. Did you? Damn. Yep, I... Okay. My improvement I mocked earlier was plus one to my my cool, I believe. Yeah, my cool. I need to actually mock okay. that on my sheet. I forgot. You should. That'll probably help you out in uh, dicey situations. And, uh, Wind, you said you got an improvement? Uh, I did. I decided, since deciding is hard, to just get... Uh, a basic stat improvement plus one sharp, so I have a total of one sharp now. That's good. <laughs> Being able to read things is is good. Yeah, singular sharp's not bad to have. I've had it this whole time, and it's helped a lot. So better than it'll zero. Help you. Yeah, better than With zero. With zero, everything's pretty much a fifty-fifty. <laughs> yeah. So opening moves. Uh, do we want to switch? Uh, what stats are marked? Yes, please. I would yep. like okay. that. We'll go down the list. Um, who has highest HX with Rusty? I have one. Plus three. Okay. <laughs> yeah, choose. Choose for me. Let's do with cool. It's cool, thank you. Marked it. And mark weird. Weird is marked. Okay, who has highest HX with Giuseppe? Plus two. Three. Alright. Hey, you said you uh, improved cool, right, Apom? Yeah. Yeah, mark that. Josie, you also better not hot. say weird. Okay. <laughs> hey, what else? I'm not that mean. Hot. Uh, and finally, who has highest HX with lug? Two. Three. All right. How about a uh, sharp? All right. Sharp, huh? Hmm. Eh, let's go weird. All righty. I never ask people to mark weird, and maybe I should sometimes. Well, that's because everyone else is weird. Yeah, Everyone else is weird except weird, for Giuseppe. So okay. Everyone else starts with plus two weird at the fucking bat. Okay, sheets mode. Or Giuseppe. Okay, after um, that, uh, we'll start with the less important one, but still very important, of uh, Bonefeel. Or not, ooh. was it Bonefeel? It but was. Yeah, it was Bonefeel. Uh, does this count towards rolling a weird troll? It does not. That's a shame. Ooh. Pretty good. Alright, so just remember that you can use that uh, at any time you want to be in a situation with the tools required uh, to help out. Um, and knowledge. It could be benign shit, or it could be very important shit. Uh, the only difference is that you do not get the plus one forward that getting a ten would have got you. Um, and finally, the one that will probably cause some shit. Uh, oh. Fortunes. Oh, okay, oh, so boy. it's a new day. New day. Uh, slash, it's just a I think they should get one. a- I think they should all get like a pen- you should get like a minus one for being hungover. Honestly, you should get a plus one, to be honest. New we'll day. see how, so we'll, we'll see how it shakes one. out. We'll see how it shakes out, and if it matters, I'll give you a plus one. Oh, <laughs> Never mind! No, 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 Okay, no, so no. I get three barter. The okay, same fucking three. thing happened last session! Yeah, I know! What are you, do what are so you doing, Seth? Man! I'm praising Sidekick Pot at every turn. That's what you guys gotta hey, sidekick do. Pot, so I got I a plus a one on my Argery. Hey, Sidekick Pot, can I get a good roll? I don't have any beginning of session rolls, but still. You guys, you guys gotta kiss Sidekick Pot sometimes. Yeah, I suppose, uh... I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> okay, let's not create any omens. Uh, so... We talked uh, a while ago about, like, getting plus one on Augury. Yeah. Because you already have Augury, right? Yep. I'll say that that still carries over, that's gonna be a general thing. But you can only get that plus one, no more. Okay. And That's you have to have, to like, work. had an augury, you know, it's like you're building it, I suppose. Okay. But you can't contain more weird than you got. 
Seth builds up speed for 12 sessions to get <laughs> plus yeah, 12 Honestly, <laughs> yeah, you're just fucking BLJing, and then you let go and you'll go fucking apeshit. I can't wait, just go straight up to BG and just crush his skull. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even going up to him, you're just gonna be bouncing off the bar. <laughs> Yahoo! Yahoo! Yeah! And you're gonna just go crash what? through BG's living room. When are, you gonna use your, when are you gonna use your magic to enter BG's mind dungeon? Y2K right now. No more. No Y2K. Okay. Oh, no Y2K. Uh, it's, no, yeah. it's dead meme. It's a dead meme. It is pretty dead. <laughs> All right. So uh, you get how much plus three barter? Uh, yeah, plus three barter. So I have fourteen barter. Right. And uh, please augury. share. I'm still. I'm still sad that you didn't get party. Yeah, sharing is caring, motherfucker. Fourteen barter. <laughs> Look, you were one of the one. You took like four barter from the office yeah, space I, and didn't I give anybody to anything. Let me I check what I got. From I have currently um five barter. You got one barter from uh, the, the suitcase. Yeah, I thought you were I about to just say who... you got one barter and that's it. I, I was the one who got mugged, and guess who was the one who didn't lose any money to November? Hey, maybe, maybe you should roll more. Maybe you should roll. Roll hot. Yeah, oh, maybe you should roll yourself. hot more often. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe uh, you should be as hot as Rusty sometime. Yeah, not, not to do an aside, but it's kind of funny how uh, things are a bit different in hacks of this game, like uh, Dungeon World, where the weight that you gain XP is to fail rolls. <laughs> hey, Apom would be ahead of us. He I'm was. so sorry, Apom, but you <laughs> you would be a god amongst us. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually a very interesting kind of idea that, like, you gain experience by doing things you're bad at. God. I mean, it or makes sense. Up. Yeah, it does. Every experience but, uh, yeah, it does, is learn what? But this it's... one is more interesting because you can, like, be a piece of shit. You know? I don't want uh, anyway. to harm the people. I just want to get to the... I just want to get to dry <laughs> land. I roll Ajax yeah, you'll... to sabotage them so they gain experience. Don't worry, you'll see land, uh, hopefully soon. Okay. Well, not land, but you'll see An island. dry stuff. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, dryness, that's so, all I uh, need. We'll come back to our, our, our scenes, sort of. Uh, so last we left off, we were uh, having a sick party. Yeah. Um, I don't think it was very sick. <laughs> well, you guys were invited, but you guys declined. I was scared. I was just sitting in my room with my trumpet all the night while surgery was going on. Okay, yeah. uh, so I assume, like, y'all didn't, like, do anything that whole whole night? Yeah, not really. He like, was just kind of petrified. Big... Okay. Uh, do you have any sort of, like, you know, business uh, for the rest of the week, or did you want to, like, just kind of awkwardly avoid them? Um, well, Sammy kind of wanted to have a meeting, but he doesn't know how to have it in, like, a low-key way, unless maybe, like, invited calling some people over during one of Rusty's shows. Right. What about Lug? Not, he doesn't want to incite panic at the moment. He just wants to like hmm. discuss like how to handle this and what all this weird can stuff is. Right, he's a can he's a coward, right? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I mean he Giuseppe's Giuseppe. Yeah, that's fine. Canned stuff that's is just weird. Giuseppe. Beer is served in bottles, not cans. <laughs> oh, oh what about Lug? Though? Honestly, to be honest, you probably rarely find what like is called beer. You're mostly finding oh hard liquor. Yeah. Please, I want to know what Lug's doing. Yeah, what is what is Lug doing? Uh, uh, Lug probably had some business he wanted to take care of before Hollister happened, right? It's more not so that it's before Hollister, but before Quill woke up. There are two things he's doing. One, okay, he's got to make her a leg. Let's be real. She, he's oh, gonna, geez. he's gonna, going, really, all right. It's Gun simple. Leg? No, no, no. Just you know, one of those. No, I, super it's not gonna take ones. long. I'm just like, oh, geez, really off the off the jump, huh? Well, I mean, she needs something. Probably well, crushes. Course, I, I'm impressed is what I'm trying to say. That, like, Lug is, like, immediately like, I gotta make a leg. Is, is... Well, this is going on. It's it's probably... Well, no, it's it's after it went on. Because, okay. like, he was probably, like, cowering behind in his in his. I was about to say, the like, there's nothing Lug can do about this. He's just gonna go about his work. All right, okay. You know the kind probably of... contemplating, uh, like, hey, is, can I use this gun? anyone if you can borrow a spare leg. Rusty, get over has... here! I don't think anyone. <laughs> God, I don't that's think fair. that's how it works. Uh, but no, it's probably something super simple, nothing mechanical. One of those, you know, like it's the stump and it has the bent metal, the kind of bends when you put yeah. pressure on it. One of those. Yeah, I get you. Um, in relation to that, uh, 
Rusty, you've promised Fuzz something, right? Yeah, to make sure Quill was safe. Was, was okay. going to be okay by the time she woke up and all that. Yeah, how, how do you want to fulfill that promise? Well, I would like to go check up on her after, you know, coming down from the fucking high of a party. But right, obviously probably... <laughs> I'm probably not allowed in, so I'm going to look to well, see Well, hey, if we I can we can find that out. We can have that soon. Oh uh, yeah, I well, can come in. Another, knock, knock. another thing. Yeah. Uh, another thing that Lug is probably doing is passive aggressively going to all the millionaires <laughs> and uh -huh. one by one bringing them to the workshop because he he knows Quill gives them something, and he's gonna figure that out. Cause just because Quill's down doesn't mean that everyone's gonna go without whatever the fuck they need. Oh, that's nice. Right, that's actually really nice hmm. of you. Thank you, Lug. Thank you, uh, Win, for making Lug nice. He's doing it very angrily and kind of aggressively. No, I, I think that, uh, yeah. The, yeah, okay, we'll start with this scene. Um, it's uh, it's the next day, and most of the millionaires are starting to wake up from their stupor. Uh, Rusty, I think you're still kind of, like, groggy and asleep. Or yeah. Just kind Do any of, of them, like, remember what happened? Nope. Uh, you- I think you probably- <laughs> uh, do you ask any of them? Me? Uh, no, you're still asleep. Yeah, Giuseppe I'm still was asleep. Awake. Did you, like, ask any of them about it? Um, does anyone like like that? hey what I, like, just hey what the fuck was that? Yeah, I looked out. I like look peek out one of the windows and now in the workshop and it's like hey hey what's going on? Are you guys okay? Um, I think you ask. Let's who's 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 the funniest one to ask for that, or who haven't we talked to really? Because we've got a lot of folks we could talk to. Uh, let me get it up on my phone. Sorry, I'm no, chewing I, on my pen oh, this you, whole time. You want to choose? I kind of want to choose, because I okay. have somebody in mind, but I can't remember their name, so I'm going to go through my my listo. Okay. Where is it? AC? Have we talked about AC? Nope. Okay, please have AC do it. Yeah, I was actually thinking of AC. Uh, yeah! <laughs> so you ask AC, what was it again? Hmm? What'd I ask? Oh. What'd you ask again? Uh, hey, you guys, you got, he's just, like, kind of stuttering at the moment, peeking out the window, it's like, hey, are you guys okay? I don't, I don't know what's going on. You all right? Uh, AC for, I think we didn't actually, like, we've never talked about AC. Uh, no. AC's got, like, big, like, glasses that don't have frames in them. Uh. Yeah, they're hipster. They've got, like, one of, they've got a button-up <laughs> shirt with, like, a bunch of pocket protectors. Like, just several <laughs> pockets and protectors for them. Uh, and their slacks are just so straight. The straightest slacks you've ever seen. How do they sit? Nobody knows. Uh, you know, we've never seen them sit. <laughs> they just lean. They just lean on the pants. Right. And uh, since we've we've already got this going, but uh, they are indeed they them. Uh, yeah. I think uh, AC uh, kind of like, you talk to them after they are, like, they're maybe like five feet away, and they just like, uh, uh, uh. Um, <laughs> they push up their glasses like, uh, excuse me? What? what? You know, all that stuff that was going on. Like, you all, like, went around L R Rusty in a circle and were talking about, like, oh, praise be to the flesh or something like that. And it's like, you, you don't remember that? <laughs> yeah, praise be to my flesh, bro. <laughs> uh -oh. Anyway, look, I'm, I don't got time to, like, make jokes, pal. Uh, I gotta, like, get to work. <laughs> Unlike you. <laughs> anyway. Excuse me? <laughs> See ya, pal. Uh, okay, have fun, uh, AC boy, buddy. Why did I say spirit? How did I say the spirit of the flesh? It was like vessel of vessel of the awakened. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so happy you said that. I I'm am too. so happy. <laughs> I am so happy about that. Like, now I need to I, go look the moment the you speech, said that, actually. I was like, dick joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's so AC. That's AC. <laughs> Do, okay, it was this. It was the steward of the vessel, the light between the skin of the world. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. So, uh, you got that. Um, in the meantime, uh, let's see. When you said you wanted to make that leg and then give people meds. Meds first, because I, I th that's that's something that Kua would do daily, right? Yeah, that's a that's a daily thing. Usually at the beginning or ends of days, depending upon like who it was. Uh, uh, but I think at the very beginning, uh, 
you're probably still like fucked up about this, so I think would you go to Ace or not Ace uh, H first? Because you at least know H. Yeah. Yeah, go go into H. H probably is trying to get away. H is H is, H is scared of fog, right? Not really. Like y'all had a big report. Like you fixed the well, not really fixed, but you maintained the the filter together. Hmm. Either way. Probably had a lot of like kind of awkward talking, and it's like they're not really all that like shy. Well, either way, go go into H first, cause cause Log knows them. Right. I think you you call H into the the office, and uh, he like you know gets a he's kind of like. He shirk, like shrinks away from like the table that you know Quill's still sweeping on, and he's like, "Uh, <clears throat> hey, 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 Lug, what's up?" Quill, Quill gives you something. What is it? Where is it? Uh, and he's rummaging around a little bit, trying to look for anything that looks remotely like what he's seen Quill give them. What, what does she give you? each day you mean like medicine yeah uh i don't remember its name but everybody just calls it tea hmm that's uh it's not helpful huh also look okay. like it's a pill in a bottle can Lug find of this bottle? Or is he still struggling? Um, we'll just say you eventually find what it is, and then, because like otherwise it's like a weird scene of just like, no, nope, you don't find it. All right. Got to yeah, call somebody it. else in. So a good hour of forcing H to stand yeah. there. That w that one's that one part of Emperor's New Groove where they just keep trying the different potions because none of them are labeled. We're not doing any TF scenes today. Okay. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> yeah, anyway. yesterday was enough. I've had yeah, I've had enough black magic. And I think with this this bottle, Bug of course is like asking a bunch of questions. Like this is this is the this, this is the right one. She gives you one every this time of day. And I think H is just like yeah, pretty much, yeah. Uh, yes, I think. Eventually, he, he, he gives H1, uh, and he kind of, like, looks at him expectantly, as if saying, you're not leaving here until I know that you've taken it. Uh, do you, do you got a glass of water? Or something? There's alcohol in there, isn't there? Just like uh, light alcohol. I, I think I should just. I need like water for this. Go get it. <laughs> he points to the door. You're like, go get it. Bye. And, and they walk out. And after that, Lug, once he's alone in the room, he kind of does that thing where he puts his hands on his like he 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 clenches his fist, puts them on his hip, and he just kind of looks up at nothing triumphantly, like oh, I did good. And he go he. Go, <laughs> He goes off on his way to find his next victim uh, to give their their medicine. Uh, I think honestly, you don't even have to actually go looking for folks because, like, you know, uh, it's pretty obvious after that that like, hey, there's somebody who's actually taking care of the med shit, and so people like, you know, they they come in when they need to, and they're like, hey, you got my shit, you know, the various folks. Right, right. Give me the pills, look. <laughs> Give me the peels. Uh, God. <laughs> oh boy. Rusty. I think, I think um, anything just that Rusty can help asks the millionaires like... for their clothes <laughs> to launder drugs through lug. He would. Not, he would not. Rusty would not. I don't know if like Seppi's helping at the moment. If he's just like sitting in his like cave at the moment. If he has a cave. He'd probably get the bar. Probably, the, probably like polishing things like he's, more he's, than before. Probably actually broke one of the glasses. He's under the bar. Too hard. Whoops. He's just under the bar. He's still polishing. That's the only place he can find solace. 
Everything, everything's um, so gone to hell once again. Uh, what was it that you said you were doing, uh, Rusty? Uh, I thought we all decided that Rusty is still sleeping and groggy. Well, now, right, now he is, but is he gonna do anything after that? Uh, what I remember. Roll off as overboard. Rusty. Yep, you'd remember. I remember last night. Yep. Uh, well, I'm gonna assume. Am I on deck or in the in the bunks? Um, I think you wake up in the bunks. Wake up in the bunks. I have been successfully carried. I don't weigh that much, I guess. Rusty doesn't weigh too much, thankfully. I think the most of his weight comes from the egg. No, I think he weighs. I think he, I think he weighs enough. Except he's just kind of. He's like a beanbag where you can just kind of push him around super easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he just like well, crouch surfed him for a while last night. <laughs> seeing as I remember literally everything that happened, I'm not going to be too shocked about the egg being embiggened, uh, to its normal regular ass egg size. That's that's already done. I've I've already witnessed that. Uh, I want to shake my head because God, what a night! And get up and try to woozy around a little bit. Figure out uh, how everybody's doing the night before. Look over into the workshop, like a lug. And so you're you're looking in the <laughs> workshop right now. Yeah. I think I'm not in the workshop, I'm looking in. <laughs> I think Lug kinda of like looks up. Kinda of, it's kinda of like that jolt up and that slow realization of kind of like, yeah, I know this is happening, I'm just kinda of taking this in because fuck. And he he gets up and as he's walking towards the door, he's like, Nope, nope, no no. And he kind of shuts the door on Rusty. Before he can get in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, come on, Lug. Banned from, banned from the club. Oh, come on. <laughs> banned? There's a sign out there that says no rust, he's allowed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's kind of not been wanting anyone in the workshop today, it seems, huh? Kind of, yeah, that's ex fair. except for the medicine. He's only letting them in for that, and he's getting them out as soon as he can. That's that's fair and understandable. Does the workshop have windows? Apparently. It, no, it, does it? Oh, it does, because Apom looked out one. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to look in as Rusty. Ugh, how... <coughs> How's the do it? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing fine as soon as you get out. And yeah, I, I think with that, I think with that, he he grabs a big sheet of metal and kind of pushes it up against the window, kind of to block it. Rusty kind of wipes his mouth off. Ugh, please. She's Bloody. fine. Get the fuck out. She's fine. Leave. No, I I got I gotta know is she is she okay? He he looks over. He's not gonna lie about this, and he looks back. She's fine. All right, thanks, but I'll uh, leave you be since you don't want me uh, around. And it saunters off to the bar because he knows that's where Giuseppe is. Oh no. <laughs> he just knows. <laughs> yeah, just like, uh, where else is he gonna be? Uh, the is board like... is still being held up against the window by the time he makes it to the bar. Okay, okay. that's that's understandable. Giuseppe is still is still actually underneath the bar. He's probably still <laughs> polishing a glass very furiously. More just not furiously as an angle. He's just like very like taking trying to take his mind off of whatever's going on. He also probably still has the all or nothing book on him, but he hasn't had the chance to like do any more decoding on that. Uh, he's gonna flop on over to the bar. Slip slap slip slap. Wet feet. Still wet as ever. <laughs> Thankfully, nothing's changed on that front. Uh, yeah, I think uh, right now the bar is kind of like got some nice mood lighting going on. Oh, nice. It's like nice. early morning. Well, not too early morning, but it's like you know ten o'clock when things are like kind of nice, but not too hot. Mm -hmm. Uh. I think most of the of the band is over 
uh, kind of over by the the stage, just like kind of messing with their instruments. Uh, but they kind of look up at you when you uh, when you get in. Oh, I want to wave. Just kinda, they just kind of give you some looks. I'm gonna wave. Hey, fellas. What's going on? Uh, I think Darnell's like, not much, man. Wild night, huh? <laughs> He was just watching from the boat the entire time. <laughs> no, I, I want to imagine Darnell got into it. Well, he probably did. Darnell got into it after, mm -hmm. like, the initial ang anger at Mirko, like, nearly crashing the boat. Remember how he, Darnell essentially <laughs> he probably, got he kidnapped? Like, Wait, what? <laughs> he yeah, essentially that's right, got by Mirko. kidnapped. <laughs> Donnell probably realistically he like drank like one th he like took tried to have like one bit of the cocaine and immediately passed out. <laughs> <laughs> he had an OD scare. Yeah. Just, just like from like a tiny he touched bit, it like, and nothing he else. Just passed out. Like oh man, this is just like weed, isn't it? Oh god, oh no. <laughs> there you go. This is just like weed. <laughs> this edible, oh, this boy. edible ain't shit. <laughs> An hour later. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, uh, I think Bung just kind of gives you, like, a little bit of a wary look and doesn't uh -huh. do anything. And then Fuzz kind of, like, gives you some sort of look that's meaningful. Yeah, I'm, you know what? Instead of going to the bar, like, fuck going to the bar. Giuseppe's fine. No, he's, I'm a, not. he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Rusty goes back to the <laughs> workshop. I think, like, I think when, like, you know, it's very obvious that, like, Giuseppe, like, polishes harder the more, like, uh, Rusty gets close. I think Fuzz, like, just does a huge just eye roll. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go he's over very, to the band. He's very <laughs> At least Fuzz. Fuzz, because seeing as I remember last night, I can actually tell her, hey, I, you know, tell her about the promise and I kept it. For now. For now. Hey. <laughs> hey, Fuzz. How's it going? Hey. Hello, Rusty. Uh, I checked up doing? on I checked up on Quill. She's okay. I could tell you that. Yeah, just want to make you know, give you an update. Hey, Bong. He nods. Hey, Darnell. I already said hey, pal. Hey. Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I saw you like five seconds ago. <laughs> Did ya? <you>? No. <laughs> Alright, now you saw me. <laughs> I'm dying gonna, over here. He's gonna, he's gonna roll himself over to the bar. Try to look o over the bar. And like, put his hand over to kind of feel for wherever Giuseppe is at. Giuseppe just like tries hey, to like man. not get touched by this slimy hand. <laughs> it's just wet. It's just <laughs> rust grease. Don't worry about it. He doesn't. He feels like it's time to like not stop being like a shriveling coward and like actually get out of from under the bar. And it's like it's well, he does bar. actually like crawl out and then like stand up and try to look professional. <laughs> Maybe I should run my boat. Hey, Giuseppe. Hello, Rusty. What's... what's up? A lot of things are up, honestly. Like, like my lockbox, which is now on the ceiling of my bar, just so you know. <laughs> wow, it sure is tied up there with rope. Fucked up. What lockbox? Uh oh, nothing, nothing. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I was panicking for a second. Uh, how you doing, buddy? He, he's very, he's very he obviously, like, nervous and, like, is, like, like, scooting back just a little bit, but is still trying to, like, maintain his composure. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna have to repeat. I'm still laughing over everything. He's, like, very, like, obviously, like, nervous and, like, scooting back, but still trying to, like, look, maintain composure. <laughs> Alright, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Maintains eye contact, dies anyway. Yeah, maintains eye contact with the dude who's kind of slopped over. Uh, one thing I want to mention real quick is yeah. that, uh, just so y'all know, you can use moves like uh, read a person and such on like uh, PCs if you'd like. 
Yeah, you can you can read what kind of person Rusty is in this very moment if you'd like. And when someone does that, you can like interfere to make it harder for them. Uh, give me a second. Oh dang, I don't have I don't have uh, Shoke Mug today. Hey, just do it anyway. Yeah, if you if you think you'd try to like, you know, you get a read, know? then you can just do it. Yo, bro, you know me. Mm. You know me. No, I'm buddy. Stealing, stealing mine. Um. Okay. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll a shop roll. For okay. read a person, and I'm so. I, I I decide what questions to ask after the duel. Yep. Yep. They are hold rather than hard to move. Uh, come on, sidekick bot. Please roll good. God wow. dang it. Now I have to, on a miss, ask one anyway, but we be prepared for the worst. Yeah, is, 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 please do. Is Rusty going to, like, chokehold me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he could. Well, uh, you have to remember, you have to ask uh, one of the yeah, questions. Yeah, I'm gonna ask, yeah, um, yeah. What, does, what does Rusty wish I'd do at the moment when I'm in this vulnerable state? And he's just, like, looking at me like nothing's wrong. Give <laughs> safe. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll be up front. Well, Rest... uh, he he missed, so I could tell him. Some oh, shit. you get to tell him. Okay, unless that's you how think, that works. unless you think you have like some sort of like lie to tell him. No, I don't have an absolute lie. Rusty's okay. not full of lies, as it turns out. Hmm, I think. <laughs> He's my not other a lying option was man. what's my best. I was gonna read a stitch for what's my best escape route. Oh. <laughs> it was a uh, yeah. You you asked what does your character wish I'd do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, what does Rusty wish Giuseppe would do? Jesse. Um, do you want my abdicate. neck? Do you want to drink my blood? I think yeah. uh, he'd most want you to abdicate. To uh, step down from being, like, their leader. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Is this maybe biased because I got a bad will? Ab it's it's biased because, like, that's already how you felt. And because of the bad will. Okay. Yeah, we're just we're just reinstating that. Just okay. just letting you know. So yeah, Giuseppe, Giuseppe is still like very nervous. It's like we've like we evaluation the sods to not help him, so Hey right. Rusty, uh Rusto buddy, um you yeah. know hmm, not you you and all, but I think the yeah. Um I don't think th yeah. I think the boat is still like a little like salty from all the waves we've had recently. Do you think you could scrub it off a bit? It'd be really appreciative, and I'd like you a lot. Please, thank you. Please do that. The broom is in the back closet. <laughs> so, <laughs> please do that. Please, thank you. God, that's real good. So, so Giuseppe <laughs> has asked. <laughs> Giuseppe has asked Rusty closet, yeah. to scrape the barnacles off the boat. <laughs> Giuseppe has asked. Rusty to keel over and drown. I don't want him to drown. I don't want to kill him. I just want him to like not leave to not like think about like mutiny. You know, you know, the last thing on anyone's minds when they're scrubbing the floors is mutiny. <laughs> God, yeah. Uh, idle hands uh, do the devil's work. It's idle hands do or the work of the do devil's the work. What? Idle hands do the work of the devil. Yeah, that's what I said. You got it fucking wrong, you troglodyte. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, I'm Josie, I'm gonna argue with the one person who knows religion. <laughs> As if nobody else knows, pal? What are exactly. you talking about? Exactly. I am sorry, it's by law, I am the holiest person here. I can't believe that wins the fucking Pope. I <laughs> And I've played Undertale. <laughs> Oh boy. Um. So where were we on that scene? Um. Giuseppe uh, was like very panically asking uh, Rusty to go grab a broom and scrub the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rusty, could you just please, please scrub the deck, please? That would be a really great help for me. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Just, just do what you want. Just, just. It would be very nice to me. Please, please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. He's like like against the wall at the moment, but still like trying to look nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna make any effort real quick at the moment to actually get up. Rusty's still just, yeah, 
All right. All right, then. <laughs> All right, but I'll, uh... Can I get a drink? Uh, yeah, what, what you want? You can have anything, any of this. I just want some water, but... Okay, you can have some water. <laughs> he just grabs the bottle. <laughs> He just he just like presses that X button. <laughs> yeah, he just like goes over to the to the to the bookshelves. Not the bookshelf, just the shelves. Grabs like the thing of water. Just, like pours into like a big glass. He like only the best glass for Rusty. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a plastic big gulp. <laughs> plastic chalice, yeah. This is a mighty thirst. It just yeah, he just like pours it in there, maybe a little shakily, he tries to kill the sand city. Then just gives it to him, and then smiles nervously. Thanks, bud. No problem. He's gonna, he's gonna grab that drink and just like slowly get the big gulp. Are all the groomers just looking at me with blank expressions on their faces? Yeah. Uh, not really. I think uh, at this moment, Fuzz is gonna come over and like sit next to you, uh, next to Rusty. Hey, Fuzz. bud. What's up? You want some water? No, I wanted to clear something up. Alright. I understand if you took it very literally, but when I asked you to to keep Quill safe, I didn't ask you to give me updates on her every last, uh, her daily... <sighs> look, she, we're on the same boat. I can look at her and see if she's fine, okay? Alright. I'm saying help her. <laughs> Kinda hard when you're locked out of the uh, workshop. Christ, I'll go talk to him. Thanks, bud. And she gets up and uh... <laughs> you hear a knock at the door. Uh, Lug. Well, then, well, being... well, is, is Messi still in the bar? Yes. Then just let me just like sits well, on the stool, smiles, like maybe like looks at the code book, maybe looks at the coded coded book for a bit. Okay. He cuts out a hole in it to look through the book at Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, what do you look? Well, the knock is a nice surprise for a log because people just usually barge in, so I think he's a bit more open uh, to whoever to whoever it is. And I think he, he opens that door, and he's, uh, he's a bit hesitant at first, but... Come in. Yeah, there's, there's Fuzz with a blank expression. I think when you, when you peek in the, out the door, she's like, Let him in, dumbass. <laughs> no. She kicks the door open. <laughs> Stop being such a baby! Just let him in! Fucker's gonna she walks steal away. shit. She walks away. I mean, I mean, she's the one with the knife. Who do you want to? Who do you want to piss off here? The I one with the knife. Actually. The one with the less knives. Gets... I'd like to By piss time... off the one with less knives. Honestly, <laughs> but her knife is better. Let me go get a picture of it. By the time she gets back to the bar, she's like very composed, uh, and then just sits back with the band. Uh, Rusty, assuming Fuzz has done it and, like, convinced Lug very easily. He's not gonna think twice about it. He's gonna get up. He's gonna go to the storeroom. With his big gulp, by the way. He's, he's carrying that <laughs> around with him. Nice. Uh, he's gonna grab the broom and kind of saunter on off Just to the workshop. Just drag the broom in one hand. Yeah. A broom in one hand and a brer in the other. <laughs> and a shrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
giving you the evilest eye he can as as you saunter on over to Quill. <laughs> no, I haven't gotten in yet. I'm gonna knock. Rusty yeah, knocks as as, first. As soon as Rusty leaves the room, he immediately just like just every minute just collapses on his seat in relief. And, like leans back, it's like, oh, <laughs> praise the Lord. Rusty just. Hey, look. No response. I'm back. No response. Can I he's, come in? He's very visible in the doorway. Like, like from the doorway, <laughs> you can see Lug. No response, no movement. He's kind of watching. Arms I crossed. Got I got you some water, bud. You want some water? No response. <laughs> can I... Can I roll to manipulate... Lug to let me to say I can come in. <laughs> you could. <laughs> what would I roll for that? HX. Manipulate, seduce and manipulate. Isn't it HX? <laughs> yeah. Seduce and manipulate, you can manipulate PCs. That's but, yeah. uh, hot. If, yep. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> Y'all let me in. <laughs> Good. Uh, well, he doesn't have to. Um, for PCs on a 10 plus, uh, They'll go along with you, but they need concrete assurance. Um, yeah, so I guess you kind of you kind of do, uh, but at the very least, um, let me see. There was something that it was saying. I mark experience. Uh, if if I let them in. Oh right, on a, or... on a ten plus, you get uh, if they go along with you, you mark oh, experience, and if they refuse, then uh, the person you the one that refused have to erase one of your uh, highlighted stats uh, for the remaining wait. session. I know it doesn't matter at this point. I forgot to roll weird instead because I forget I have the charismatic <laughs> uh, option. Right. Um, can we can like retroactively do that if you'd like? Well, no, it would just it would just be so. a twelve. Yeah, and it, at that point, it doesn't matter. Since yeah, it's kind of fucked anything. up that uh, you don't have that advanced so you could make rusty uh your i don't know fucking lackey man weird how he could make himself his own lackey get my name fucking yeah. right <laughs> oh i did shit i'm sorry um, you do this every same session <laughs> you pretty much <laughs> Look, you did it too so shut the hell up <laughs> i did it as well <laughs> okay Any, so but yeah so um yeah do you go along with it? Just get the fuck in and get it over with. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Lug. You want some water? He offers out the big gulp. <laughs> what would you I... haven't drank anything in a while. You've been in here since last night. I'm not gonna take his fucking backwash. As if you gave a sh ever gave a shit about backwash isn't even a concept in this world. What are you talking about? He's got, he's got cooties. <laughs> like there's two things that nobody knows what the fuck is in this world, and one is a country, and two is backwash. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! The water tastes a little metallic. Like it very much though. <laughs> uh, I I think Log's gonna stick with the alcohol in the room. Okay, that's fine. The, the shit that's definitely gonna make you shrivel up into a fucking mummy. Yeah, the sh this stuff's if gonna dies, make you dies, thirstier. You know, this just happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. But do mark experience for going along with it. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. You are now in the the workshop. I'm now in the workshop. <coughs> I'm so sorry. That's alright. Uh, forgot I could mute. Um, I'm gonna look over at Quill real quick just to. Make certain. Lug is eyeing over. Rusty very heavily. Uh, I'm, as, as this at Lug. I'm looking at this... Lug, who's looking at me. Just looking at him. <laughs> but where's the caveman? <laughs> what? What's going on, dude? <laughs> What's going on, bud? You sure you don't want any water? No. No. He shakes his head a little as he says no. <laughs> Rest is gonna look around for a seat that is not Lug's. One that does not look like Lug was sitting. I'm gonna sit in it. Just plop right in there. 
now the seat is wet. How does that feel? <laughs> well, it feels wet. <laughs> I'm gonna take a huge fucking sip out of this jug. Out of this cup. Yeah, spill some on Quill, huh? No! No! I'm gonna you, pour you're a little, little bit you're on the a little egg. Ways from Quill. Yeah. Unless I'm you, like, gonna, really threw I'm that shit back, it wouldn't hit anyone. <laughs> I'm gonna give a little bit to Egg. <laughs> While I'm at it. Just, like, splash some on the egg. Yeah, just slowly pour it. Pour some on egg. I think it does rinse it. Yeah, good. Rusty has gotten good at pouring things on egg, so there's no mess. It's okay. Did, did, did the egg ingest any recreational substances last night? Who knows? A little. A little. Oh boy. I'm gonna say a little. You can't have the egg underage drink. No, it's the same thing with, like, if you give, like, a child just a sip of wine or something. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's like Texas law. You can do it just under like, parental simulation. Just, just, one, just one cocaine is fine. <laughs> it's legal hey, under parental supervision. Hey, little egg, you got a toothache? Here you go. Have some military-grade painkillers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit sit there with my big gulp. With the broom, uh, I'm gonna think, take a nap. <laughs> I think that by now, Lug is kind of ready to break this passive-aggressive silence he's been giving Rusty. I think it gets broken a bit before you do that, though, because um, oh? you hear uh, some strug like some movement behind Rusty. I was like, "What the hell, Bulnasaur?" <laughs> <laughs> uh. What happened? Is that Quill? <laughs> it's Quill. Hey, bud. I think I think before Rusty can say hey, bud, I think Lug <laughs> runs kind of over, kind of pushes Rusty out of the way. He probably tips the chair over. <laughs> he just to shoves him out of the way. <laughs> Water he, everywhere. He, he, oh. he shoves him out of the way, even though he could have just gone around. <laughs> what the answer? Fuck you, Lug. <laughs> Rusty just does not make any effort to get back up. He is in his natural element of a puddle. I think- does Rusty absorb the water? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, he's not a sponge. He's already as wet as can be. Sponges Rusty can only hold so much. Water. He just like continues to like exude it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not sweat. <laughs> <laughs> is it drinkable? Who knows? Fuck no, no one's tried. No one's yeah, tried so to drink what it. What are you doing, Lug? Yeah, Lug. Uh, just kind of like, like kind of looking over Quill, just kind of as she gets like, is she starting to wake up? Like, is anything happening? Is anything happening? She's like waking up. Well, like, uh, hey, Lug. Ugh, this it feel? sucks. Do you need I anything? I feel like I lost a foot. Do you need anything? <laughs> I need some fucking painkillers. I think Lug, <laughs> Lug gets to the painkillers as Rusty says whatever he's about to say. What'd you want some water. Oh, fuck yeah, give me that shit. <laughs> it's he's on the floor in a puddle. Slowly get up. Hey, there's some still left in the cup. There's still some left. There's some left in the cup. I'm going to get up as Rusty. Kind of slip a little bit as I try to get up out of the puddle. <laughs> and, like, spit pull myself up and kind of lean over onto the bed and like here you go bud yeah I think uh, she takes the painkillers from you lug uh, and then takes the water and is like fuck yeah and takes this that shit, shit and this looks is... at uh, looks takes another look at Rusty after and is like did you get more damp <laughs> yeah I did I just got out of a puddle well don't go waving that around the ra the what are those fucking radios again? Radios. Lug? Radios. Do you ever fucking use those things or what? Are they just like aesthetic? They peep. <laughs> <sighs> All right. He says that is as if that was like an actual answer. No, I know. That's why I fucking love it. <laughs> He's like they peep. Yeah, it's, He's like it's yeah, so fucking good. all right. Yeah. They sure fucking do, bud. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this sucks. Yeah. 
I'm so fucking stupid. Rusty, why are you still in here? Don't be I... fucking mean to Rusty. <laughs> Christ, yeah, you're such look. a baby. He locked me out. I mean, thanks, though, by the way. But, like, Jesus, dude, calm down. <laughs> what are you doing here, though, Rusty? I'm making sure you're alright. Well, where's Fuzz? She's with the band. Did you want me get to get her? her? Yeah, yes, go get her. He's Thank gonna you. wipe a little bit of the water out on his way with the broom, because that, that is what Giuseppe has asked him to do. So Maybe now, not on the workshop, but he's so gonna... So now the, the water is spread out, easy to slip on, and the broom is also wet. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should have given, him, mop. Maybe I should have given him a mop instead. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should have asked him to take the mop instead of the broom. Rusty has actively sabotaged the floor. He could just rub himself against the floor to get rid of the barnacles. <laughs> just eat him. Listen, he's swiping it out the best he can. He's doing his best, dude. So he's coming to the bar right now? Yeah, he's, he's coming to the bar right now. So yeah, Giuseppe has been like... Like, trying to like, ease up on himself, like, sitting in the chair, like, maybe sipping just a little bit. Then he notices that Busty's coming over, and he just like immediately stands up and looks <laughs> professional. Hey, Rusty, how's it going? You, you all, you all doing hey, good? Hanging out with your buddy Lug? Yeah. What you hear? He locked me out. I think Fuzz, Fuzz speaks up, and she's like, "Do you let you in?" Yeah. Quill's but, awake. She wants to see you. I think before you get like past Quill's awake, she's like already at the door. Um, I'm gonna wipe my mouth for, off again. Wait for me, guys. And Giuseppe decides to like follow along and signals for Bung to come along too. Darnell can just like sit around for all he cares. Don't, I thought you were gonna say Darnell can rot. He doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> even rot. He's just he just like he can just play with his bottle locked guitar for a while unless he wants to come. If he does, then he can come. Now he waves you by. Okay. I'm gonna stand here. I I'm feel gonna like... stand in the bar for a bit before following out. I feel okay. like uh, while Rusty Lug. Is... Well, I, I want to say something real quick. I think Rusty would be the oh, last good. one into the workshop, and I think yeah. as he's making his way to the workshop, he would hear kind of faint, but kind of like kind of like a yell from the workshop. Just, Why the fuck is everyone in here? <laughs> yeah, I'm I think just... uh, the first one comes as Fuzz, and this time she doesn't knock. <laughs> just boom, and she's there. <laughs> I'm glad she didn't slip. I think she she's careful. She's like, uh, fuck, but uh, catches herself. Uh, yeah, she you know goes over to Quill and is like, shit, are you all right? And she's like, yeah, I'm all right. And they do the usual like, you know, oh thank God type shit. Yeah, I come in afterwards. I do knock this time, and like Lung Bung comes in right after me and just like stands next to me. I'm just gonna peek in the window. Workshop's yeah, too full. <laughs> Yeah, Bung's just kind of awkwardly like, okay, I don't know if I should be here, but alright. Uh, are you doing okay, Quill? I'm really sorry this all happened. It's not your fault, it's mine. I fucking... Ugh. Look, you get shot in the foot, and you're too embarrassed to, like, disinfect it enough, and then this kind of sh fucking... Your health is important as ours. If we need to take a bit off, I can help. I can help Lug handle some of this, I think. I mean, we're we're getting to a place soon, right? Yeah, we are. We're... How long's it been? Mm, maybe like uh, it's been a day. Oh, oh couple oh. of weeks. Hmm, it's been like yeah, a few weeks since we left the since we left the wreck and all of that jazz. And now on a on route <laughs> to jazz. <laughs> yeah, Y'all are heading towards Hollister. Yeah, Hollister. Hey, we're on route to Hollister, hopefully to see something good. I don't know what we're gonna see, but better than this. Hey, Quill, you've been out for three days. You've been out for three weeks, Quill. <laughs> That's hilarious, Rusty. Oh, oh, I thought Seth no. was gonna say, "Hey, Quill, you like jazz?" <laughs> no, no, I, no, I, Rusty did not say that. By the way, I'm making okay. a goof. But yeah, she's like, okay, fuck. Ugh. <laughs> I can still take care of it if I just got- if you just give me a chair. A summon. You got some uh, chairs. I think- Rusty waves over the chair that he was sitting in. Kicks, which is still wet! Lug kicks it back and gets a not wet chair. <laughs> Thank you. You gotta- 
I keep there's a crutch or something somewhere in here. Where the fuck are they? Uh, I think Lug should look for it. I think Lug is doing a lot of the stuff Quill is asking, and he while simultaneously looking at everyone. It's scary, honestly. Just yeah, try to like make things space. comfortable however you can, like arranges some stuff. I think she thanks you when you manage to do it right. It's not not often that you do it right because you're like <laughs> freaking out. Yeah. No, I think by now Lug. I don't think Lug right now is freaking out. I think he's past that point. I think he's just kind of upset. And at this point, visually upset. Like, if anyone else were asking for him to give them something, he'd probably shove it at them. But he doesn't with Quill. He's considered enough for that, at least. Uh, Rusty's gonna uh, wave Giuseppe to kind of step back. Seeing this upsetness. He immediately steps back. He just, like, follows orders instantly. <laughs> but he, he wants to be as non-confrontational as possible. Uh, I th right. I Look think... at the poor guy. You gave him anxiety. That just comes with drinking. Got ulcers. Oh. <laughs> what were you saying beforehand, Wynn? I think after the crutch is given, I think that Lug would... Had to sit down in another chair with Quill and be kind of like, uh, I made sure to give everyone their medicines. Uh, and I think, like, oh, shit. As... and, and oh, also okay. just kind of starting to Good say, job. like, how everything went, talking about the box, uh, not mentioning anything of the night before, but just kind of saying, like, this is what happened, this is how it went. I think it went good, I think it went bad. Da -da -ba -da -ba. So just make it small talk. Yeah, but topical small top. Right. Uh, I think uh, she broaches a topic to you uh, after you kind of like start just talking about the weather and shit. Are people are people still about. in here? No, yeah. I think most most folks left. Oh. Yeah, I went back to my quarters to like read all or nothing some more. No, I'm yeah. hanging in the window still. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but I think like. Uh, Quill sent Fuzz off to just kind of cool down and, you know, everything's fine. She's doing good. Is the crew just going by normal daily routine? Yeah. Yep, crew's just kind of doing what it's doing. Most of the million, or the, the, the cult members are a little sluggish because they're still dealing with, like, the after effects of stuff, but... How's uh, the kitchen going? Uh, that's another thing. Yeah, how is Lost and Found doing in the yeah, kitchen? Yeah, because Giuseppe is, like, incredibly nervous about the kitchen now. More yeah. so than the, the normally kitchen... he was just annoyed. Now he's just, well, like, worried. Remember when we say the kitchen, we mean, like, five feet away from you at the, like, kind of jury rigged grill. Yeah. Uh, this, this sort of stove top that you just kind of use. Yeah, they, they've just been there for a while. They've been just making food. Uh, but they're just kind of like, uh just like in, in kind of like in in tandem just kind of always going like I feel like shit so do I just, just like always trying they're always it looks like they're always trying to stretch like an ache that isn't and like always isn't like going away you know God, I feel that that way where you feel like in the small of your back like something but it won't like do anything uh huh. It doesn't hurt, but it's there. Giuseppe makes like a mental note that he needs to start cooking his own meals for a little bit. <laughs> Good luck. You're probably gonna be crawling back to them. Like, please, spices. Please, flavor. I can't take it. He doesn't want to trust. What if they put like magic cultist dust in the drink? <laughs> yeah. Look, it's called yeah, angel they, dust. Yeah, they put that angel dust in there. <laughs> Angel dust and pixie sticks. It's fucking called salt, you heathens. <laughs> it's uh, called the bad you... water rock. Yeah, they've they've been cooking, but it's been like kind of a, a fucking ordeal. Uh yeah, I think uh Quill broaches a topic to you, uh, Lug, and it's like Well I don't wanna I don't wanna walk on a fucking crutch the rest of my life. So, uh, I'm, I'll pay you, but you... make me a leg. Mm -hmm. 
Wug kind of stutters over his words for a, a little bit. You make a lot of weird bullshit. I know you can you can probably do that, right? He kind of looks away for a moment and looks back. I I think I can do it, but it's you're the only person I can believe can. It's it's not just gonna be done. He kind of says in a in, you know in that lug way. Where where it's just he says it as if people understand him, but right. they don't. And he kind of goes on to in, uh, emphasize on it, and he kind of and it's just. Uh, do you, do you think the book, the uh, Quill's book, would have any pictures? Uh, I'm sure there's a section there. Well, of course there was a section on amputation because like you had to follow it. Yeah. Um, do you think there would be? I pictures? think it, there's some like there's some relatively. They're more in references to things, like how amputees, like, deal with that fact. And there's a few pictures and descriptions of, uh, of, uh, prosthetics. Enough to give you an idea, but not enough to tell you how to manufacture one. Sorry, Quill, you're gonna have to deal with phantom pains. Why are we here? <laughs> Just to suffer? <laughs> Every day I feel my leg, and Rusty keeps spilling water on me. <laughs> We're gonna take them back. Each time he apologizes profusely. The apologies are getting louder. No, I think it's like it's like if there were a scene like that, it's like every time, like every time, Rusty spills water on me, and then like in the distance, I can always tell you sorry. <laughs> I then, say then, sorry. then further in this. Why are you in my workshop? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so, uh, you're... Uh, what is uh, Lug doing? I, I think he's trying to explain to her his, his thought process on the whole thing, and I think... I, I don't know how. You're gonna need to help me. You're gonna need to direct me, and... I don't know if I could make something amazing. At least, right now. Well, that first mm. part's not going to be much help, because I don't know much more than you, pal. You're the mechanic, I'm not. And second, I don't need nothing crazy, I just need to be able to walk. Capiche? Kaboosh. Kabosh. <laughs> well, I'm going to go fucking lay down, because these painkillers are uh, working. Uh, Rusty grabs the big gulp from her. Okay, she like is laying down now. She's still like awake if you want to say anything to her. I'm gonna pat mm. her on the head. Don't touch pap, her. Pap. Go to sleep. Go back to sleep. Okay. Pap, pap. As an aside, uh, did you have any ideas of like what fuzz meant? Or how Rusty thinks like fuzz meant? You don't need to update so often, dude. Stop being so friendly. It's right. okay, dude. But also, Chill out. like, to help. Yeah, to help out with the yeah. recovery process, yes. Okay, did he have and any not, ideas on that? Or? Uh, if she asks for something that is needed, he will go grab it. You know, this is going to create a really interesting dynamic right off the bat of two yeah. people. One person who wants Rusty really close to Quill, and one who doesn't. And one who would just, like, let Rusty, like, walk over him while still trying to yeah. maintain some authority. Rusty's gonna at least try to respect your space. I'm sorry, Apom, but I see why Ginny treats you like she does. <laughs> this is not self this. Is, I'm, this. Not yes. of, I'm not afraid of Rusty. It's Giuseppe that's afraid of Rusty because he's a coward and cannot deal with the of idea of his longtime friends only going berserk. Yeah. Uh, that's all very nice, but you do know that there's some things that only you can do, right, Rusty? Yeah, I can do augury. Yep. Yeah. That's only if you wanted to. <laughs> oh no. If you thought it was worth would... it and could do something. I don't know what I would do right now with augury, and I don't think it's worth it to risk it in my still groggy state. Okay. <laughs> but uh, if you do think of something, uh, you know, bring it up and all that. Hey, Lug, watch this. <laughs> Just pulls a regular, normal-ass leg <laughs> out of nothing. Out of his, like, 
one of his t-shirts. You fucking, like, <laughs> you, isol- you like, isolate and contain a fragment of the world psychic maelstrom. And it's just, yeah. like, and this like, jagged uh, ass leg shape. Here's the fucked up leg. Here's a, here's a fucking psychic leg. Hey. It's sick as Great, shit. it's not attached. She just has a, a, an, an unattached leg now. Hey, like, watch this. He pulls something out and his hand is closed. He offers it to Lug and opens his palm. It's a smaller Lug. <laughs> <laughs> it's your son. Take care of Luglet, dude. I'm dying. Uh, but yeah, if, if there's nothing else in particular, I think that we can uh, sort of swoosh on over to Hollister. Yeah. We can also uh, figure out the details of that project. Okay. Sounds good to yeah, me. Giuseppe is, is that like, that like yeah, doing like how it's on that takes. Giuseppe is like calming down gradually. He hasn't like held any meetings yet. He's hoping it just all passes for now. And he's still looking at all or nothing. Okay. Um, you're getting some of all or nothing. Like you're figuring out some words. It's like a. You've come to realize that it's some sort of numerical cipher, like uh, letters or uh, numbers that represent letters. But you haven't figured out what most of the like letters are. Like, cause uh, it's not just like one, two, three, four. It's like there's like numbers like forty-two mm. and shit. You know, it's double digit. Man, even Rusty can't count that high. <laughs> yes, he can. Rusty can count. He just can't read. Rusty can count to sixty-nine and no higher. Yeah, <laughs> he can. Uh, what? No, he can count to four twenty. Yep, you're right. No, he goes to sixty-nine, <laughs> but he skips immediately to four twenty. Yeah. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Yeah. He thinks that he thinks that's how, that's how it goes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Did you want to figure out this uh this leg? Did you have any ideas on it? Gun leg. Well, I don't have any in-universe ideas, but I do have out-of-universe ideas. Question. Uh-huh. Did, what's her name from Millions, did she have a prosthetic leg? Uh, she had it was a prosthetic head, hand, hand and a leg, and then most of, like, her skull. Yeah. One of them was also a prosthetic eye. Well, it's just a glass eye. But, yeah, a glass know. eye. A prosthetic guy would be fucking rad. Pew, 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 pew. Like, damn. I could use one of those. Uh, Giuseppe. You did, yeah, you did see uh, a prosthetic hand. Um, you noticed some things about it, like that uh, she had to, I think, manipulate parts of the hand with the other hand. Like, moving switches or little, like, you know, small cranks and shit to, like, you know, open and close. I think hers... Yeah, hers was a uh, one of the jointed ones. So yeah, she also had to like adjust like the the you know, bentness of the arm. Yeah, uh let me bring up the prosthetics part of the full book cuz I don't think that exists in the ref book or the playbooks. Um I might just go ahead and cop or not not copy paste, you know, like a uh, screenshot it, paste it in the the thing the Discord. Yeah. Hell yeah. 239. Get that Discord going. There we go. I hope this is readable, because I'm just going to do this. They essentially work very similar to vehicles, sort of, in that they have strengths and uh, weaknesses and looks. You'll have to probably open the original to get it looking okay. Uh, but to read it out... Um, one thing that's for certain people, sometimes people break. Busted ribs and heads can heal, but you can, you know, I'm not going to read the whole thing. You f- you, people lose shit. But essentially creating a prosthetic, you choose a body part, you know what body part, uh, and they have a strength, which is uh, fine-tuned, responsive, comfortable, formidable, easily maintained, interchangeable components, integrated with the meat, strong or untiring, it has looks, which I'm just going to stop reading that shit, and then weaknesses. Uh, If you want to choose, you're either going to choose one, and you'll get one of each of these, or you'll choose two, and it's two of each. Hmm. Is that clear? Yeah, that's clear, that's clear. I'm going to have to look at it for for a bit, so if we want to continue. Uh, 
I don't think we really had a whole lot uh, before we just sped up to Hollister. I see. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate that I kind of sprang this uh, at this moment. Uh, you can always punch Rusty. Good thinking. <laughs> Think something. Um, yeah, where is Rusty right now? He's in the window. He's hanging around the window still. Yeah, put that board back up against the window. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, bud. Don't do this to me. What a shame. Not even gonna say howdy. What would, what would insensitive mean in weakness? Um, let me see. I'd say that it means that it's hard to tell, like, the state that it's in without, like, looking at it. It doesn't give many sensations that tell you, like, you know, if it's, like, breaking or, uh, you know, what kind of... It, like, uh, how would I put this? You can't just tell from a glance its state. Well, you can't st you cannot tell unless you look at it. Because you don't want to always be looking at, like, you know, is my hand good? Or right. especially not, like, you have to look down at your foot and be like, is my foot still doing good? Okay. Uh, okay. I want to also mention that, like, if you thought, like, hey, like, wait until Hollister, and then maybe you could, like, have better, you know, choices of stuff to use, you could also say that, and she'd just be using a, a crutch. Yeah, I, I, I thought that I did want to, like, wait till we get to the place where there are better things. I thought that was a given, okay. I guess yeah, she, not. Yeah, she's just commissioned you, essentially, but, like, she's not expecting it, like, now. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, are we good for that, then? Yeah, oh, yeah. Good. Alrighty, alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, you actually have a question real quick. Oh, go ahead. So, you would say that we cut off a foot and half of a leg, right? Yep, I'd say halfway up the, uh, up the shin. So, then could that mean I could get a total, I would have a minimum of two strength and weakness and a maximum of four? Uh, what? Because it says in the choose body part thing, there's foot and half of leg is separate. Uh, I'd say, I'd call them the same part. Okay. Like, half of leg would be, like, what we're going for. Okay, I was, I was wondering. Because it's not the whole leg, it's not, you know, but if you're part, replacing part of the leg, you're probably replacing the foot, too. Nah, foot's still good. Nah, we still have the foot. It's like, we got the foot and we got the thigh. What are we gonna fucking do? <laughs> I got a foot and a thigh. What do you think I'm gonna do? <laughs> I got a foot in one hand and a brer in the other. I'm, I'm walking here, except I'm not because I'm missing Don't half a leg. Don't do this to me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it would be uh, you'd be making half a leg. And when I was saying about the like strengths and shit. You can either choose, like, to do one or two, but if you do one, there's only one of everything. If it's two, right. it's two of everything. Because it's more complicated. Um, but yeah, are we good to... I'm holly? good. I'm ready. I'm good to Holly. Okay, the next few days, I think, uh, pass relatively uneventfully. Uh, Quill maintains most of her duties, but, uh, you know, isn't taking house calls anytime soon. I think that uh, your cult's been doting on you a lot more than usual, uh, Rusty, like since the uh -huh. ceremony. Yeah. Uh, a lot more like making sure that you got what you need, uh, more like, you know, hey, you're doing good. Less calling you like guy or, uh, you know, like just weird, vaguely not nice things and more just like kind of boss or blue and shit like uh, that. He does not like boss. That's okay, they keep telling you calling you that anyway. Boss, you killed uh, a child. Boss, you did some coke. Uh Yeah. But uh and for Giuseppe, like, you know, things go a bit uh less stressful, I think. Yeah, he's uh, hanging. Yeah, things are less stressful, like your band's uh in a you I think, like, they've started to get better.
better. It's been a long while, and you don't play great, but like your band's actually been getting like better at playing. That's good. Like all that, all the practices you've been given them have been uh, improving them. Uh, we head over to Hollister, uh, and in the very far distance, you can start to see, uh, you know, uh, a, a black dot, and you're, you know, it's it's Hollister. Um, one thing you also notice is that uh, on that little weird like radar thing you have, uh, one of those dots is definitely Hollister. Oh my! Finally, some land. Thank God. It's not land, but it'll do. But uh, as you start to become more, or as it starts to gain actual like visibility, uh, you see another thing on the on the on the water. Uh, you see. Uh, a small boat that's speeding uh, in your direction. Oh no, not again. Simi's like watching this from on top of the deck. Yeah, but they, uh, whoever's in it comes close, but not too close. You can see them in a, from a distance. Uh, it's, uh, it seems to be a, v a quite large man because he barely fits in the boat. It's a, it's a pretty small, uh, speed boat. Um, they have sort of noticeable uh, orange and black striped hair, and the coloration kind of extends to his skin. Uh, and he picks up a, a device and speaks into it, and it amplifies his voice, and he says, <clears throat> My name is not racist! <laughs> Captain of the Hollister Militia! You are approaching Hollister! Former hub of trade in the Millions Mountain region! For the last month. State your name and motive! Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to interrupt. I'm sorry. I'm just imagining not racist as looking like my pirate character. <laughs> it makes the summer worse. <laughs> Giuseppe is like very like stunned for a second, and he's just like, uh, "Are you talking to me? You're the boss, aren't you?" Yes, yes, I, I am the boss, in fact. Uh, I am Giuseppe, this is the XS, XS, XX. I can't hear you! Oh, I am Giuseppe! I am Giuseppe Jazz! I am from the X, S, S, I am from the S, S, Exodia. You're here to trade and do business and be sociable. Jolly cooperation. I think they, they look down at something for a bit. And they uh, they turn around and they point that device and it's like, I need back up! And then another <laughs> boat comes speeding along. And they've got a similar device. And they scream, My name is very racist! <laughs> I'm the backup! What you need? And they're like, uh, Can we let these folks in? He's like, Sure, whatever. You may enter! Anyone screams, Cars, no trouble! Uh, I love very racist, not racist. Man. I'm, uh, does that, someone else want to pilot, pilot the boat in? I think I need to like go like lie down for a bit. I need a comfy pillow. Just have me just like, like walks off <laughs> for a bit. Yeah, you you come in. Uh, they have a like a dedicated dock, which is pretty rare for well, not too rare, but it's like it's meant. It's obviously meant for a lot more people than you. Uh, Hollister is best described as in an aborted ascension. You can see like signs of like building and renovation that was started like weeks, a couple weeks ago at least, maybe a month, but it's half complete and nobody's working on it. God, that's a lot better than you know the construction here. Yeah, the the half expanded dock is like kind of sparsely occupied, uh, and like the area that's kind of seems to be reserved for like storage is just mostly empty. Like uh, like someone was supposed to like build like little buildings for people to put shit in, and they just haven't. Uh, a cursory look, uh, you can see like uh, some shops nearby that dock. Uh, but what ones are there don't have boats on them, so it seems they're probably locals. But yeah, they don't... nothing looks like... It looks like they were expecting for things to get really nice, and then they didn't. Mm-hmm. 
or at least they were nice for a bit and they kind of like overshot their like enthusiasm about it uh but you you pull your route your you know the sx Zodia up and you kind of slot it in uh so it's not too treacherous to try to get onto onto your 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 boat um not racist and very racist are are nearby uh, and they say uh thank you for uh visiting our humble former trade hub uh, and the other is like if you need anything uh i guess ask people where to find us you'll usually find us together and it's like yes I, we aren't easy to find but me and my husband are usually around well thank you Giuseppe's Bye. Nice. Bye, Anna. and they leave Okay, Giuseppe, assuming all hands on deck, he says, Alright, who wants to go into Hollister? I don't know what we're gonna do, Fuck but... yeah! Is that Darnell? That's everybody. Okay, Everybody's everyone wants Fuck to go yeah. there. Um, okay, the boat should be fine without us, I assume. Did, was anyone, did anyone want to stay on the boat? I don't think anybody wants to be on the boat. No. That's fair, it seems like everyone wants to get off whenever we dock. I, won't, I don't blame yeah. him. Uh, now that you're here, did you want to use uh, Art of the Deal? Hmm? You remember the, the move that we made for selling shit? Um... Yeah, 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 that was a fun... Let's... Hey. I know I have no say in that matter, but... Because none of it goes to me. You get enough. Okay, Art of the Deal, I'm looking Yeah, I it get up. enough already, I got 14. Okay. Um, money, location, roll, plus hot. So that's me. Oh yeah, I should probably just go ahead and copy paste. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit. It's been uh, a bit. Uh, to read it out, out of the deal. Uh, whenever the crew makes land in a well-populated, moneyed location, roll plus hot. Uh, Ten plus Giuseppe gets two barter per week out at sea. Uh, this would come to I think. How many was it? Two or three? We'll say three. Yeah, three. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you two barter per week at at sea. Uh, seven to nine, it's one. On a miss, it turns out your scrap is worthless, and you can hawk it off for one barter. Uh, how you split it up between you and Lug, because Rusty gets his own money, is however you'd like. Okay, this is a hot roll, so plus two. Come on, show me the money, the real money. Oh. Hell yes! Oh. Hell yes! Double sixes, dude! Oh, did I put that in the bot channel? I'm a goober. Here you go. Here's Art of the Deal. Yes, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I've been messing that up. There's the money. Yeah, now damn, good job. I need to mark a sheet, a dot, an improvement now. Yeah. Oofa doofa. Um, that is I mean. six. Right. That's a six barter that you can uh, hand out uh, hey, however you'd like. Can I just say, since he was a fucking 14, he gets a little bit more. Can I say that? Uh... <laughs> Do it like a you, just, you just really want to... Yeah, you know what? Like... You Listen. just pull off some flawless shit. You know what, let's just yeah, and, Yeah. Uh, make it three barter per week. Okay. It Holy been, fuck. It's been, been like, a given a bad you, deal. Yeah, you, you, like, you pull out all the fucking stops. Like, you're just, like, you know, you're practically keeping people at, like, gunpoint. And they're like, fuck, fine, I'll buy shit. <laughs> you be playing gunpoint. That's, I'm just yeah, very that's persuasive. Not I just like. I think no. I I think like you were just like you're 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 high strung and you're not you're not taking like customers like I don't know kind of shit you know. Yeah. You just like no. You would, you go up to your Buy customers like and kids. you go. I am speaking directly <laughs> into your ear. <laughs> you will come to my boat and you will buy this worthless metal. You're going to buy me Bambi 2 for the PlayStation 1. Listen, I know half of this junk has been half eaten, but you will fucking buy it. I have been on a boat with insane cultists for three weeks. At least the least you can do is get me money. <laughs> so I get nine total? Uh, yep. All right. Uh, I think this will... Uh, you go. Go on. No, you go first. Uh... I think you got here pretty early in the morning. I think that this whole thing will take until maybe uh, part way into the afternoon, maybe like two o'clock, uh, as we would think of it. Y'all don't have like clocks to figure that out, so. Hmm. Can everyone get um lug? Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I'll do it later. Distributing the scrap. No, you can do it now. 
Um, how, how much scrap does everyone have at the moment? Voter? Oh, well, me at the moment? I have eight, currently. I have five. Um, you have like 14, Rusty. I don't think you need much more. No, I, I'm out of the steel. This has nothing to do with me. Oh, okay. Once again, we, we do this every- well, I'm sorry. These, we won't did it once before, but we did this again before then. Listen, this is the second hey, time. Hey, Pom, you take okay. six, I take three, we'd be even. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Thank you, Wynn, for doing math for me. Giuseppe's like a fucking landlord. <laughs> yeah, uh, while uh, Giuseppe's doing Art of the Deal, uh, what is Lug doing? I think- um, If you remember, like, you still haven't fixed that filter. H is always working on it. Yeah, I think- well, obviously he's gonna be looking for something like that, but I think- I did Quill get off the boat? Is Quill also going around? No, I, I think Quill's staying. Uh, she's still recovering. Yeah, in that case, uh, he's... You've, you've done a good job of helping her, like, change bandages and shit, but, like, sometimes she just wants to, like, be alone with her lack of foot for a while. Right. Uh, I think... And now's the perfect time. He, he's definitely just going then at his own pace looking for, for uh, supplies to fix that filter. And okay. maybe... For the leg, you know, just, just the leg. Just a whole. Just I'm gonna find a leg. Yeah, you never, you never know. Okay. Um. And then Rusty, what would you be doing? Well, he's going to be incredibly annoying to Quill, and checking up on her like every four hours. I want to say since we got here. What? What time did we get here? Really early in the morning. Yeah, you got here pretty early morning. Pretty early in the morning. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna say every four hours gonna go check up on her, see if she needs anything. Um, outside of that, looking at the stalls, looking for anything shiny or any good knives that he may see. <laughs> okay, um, you know. <laughs> would you be, like, going with an entourage or are you going just, like, kind of, like, willy-nilly? Oh, willy-nilly. Okay. If I see something, I see something. Yeah, I think, uh, we'll start with Giuseppe. I got something that's going on while you're trying to sell shit. Uh, right. so you're pretty indisposed, like, talking to customers, trying to, like, flag folks down. Uh, there's a f okay amount of people around, but, uh, it's, like, it's sort of, like, spread out a little too much, which is, like, a rare thing to say about one of these kinds of places, because usually shit's, like, really crowded. But it looks a lot like they tried to expand, and then haven't really been maintaining it. Uh, but you get kind of like a uh, a familiar feeling uh at your you know, at your side just like this kind of nagging annoyedness at something why uh do you check on that uh i decide to and i in fact do check on that because i'm hopefully it won't take too long to deal with uh you would be wrong uh cuz you see this horrible little gremlin oh <laughs> no there he is uh, you see Conker, uh, who, to remind folks, is uh, one of the person who wants in on it in regards to Giuseppe's establishment. Um, this, this, this fucking 13-year-old has come up to this man in the market. I want to be in your band! I'm 35 years old! <laughs> hey, Giuseppe. Oh, hey. Long time no see. Oh, hey, Hey, my pal, uh, what's your name? Banjo? Banjo-Kazooie? Okay. Conker! Okay, Conker, I got you. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. When did I last see you, buddy? He's, like, very just, like, um, okay. He's very, just like he's acting very much like, well, okay, then, about this. He's just, like, trying to, like, okay, we'll get me out of this faster. Well, we last saw each other when you got me arrested! Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was, that was quite the time. Yeah, it was real great, but I'll forgive you on one condition. Uh, what is this condition, Conker? <laughs> you just let me be part of the band. Yeah, I remember you talked a lot about that. You're gonna play my jazz band with your harmonica. Still got it? Even better. Uh, and he pulls out this... To be honest, it looks like a piece of junk. Like, just literally nothing. But... Like, you start to realize there's, like, strings, and then he's also holding a bow. Oh, and it's like, it's my very own violin! Oh, sweet. 
Giuseppe's mind is, oh, sweet lord. That's, that's very cute of you, Conker. I like your, your, your violin there. He's Look, don't condescend to me. <laughs> don't, don't condescend to me. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Sorry, buddy. Look, here, here, here. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you a, a I'll, I'll show you. I can do this. Just, I can do this. Just, just uh, and he tries, he starts playing, kind of. And, uh, golly gee. It sounds like something between a squealing wheel and a yelling cat. Oh, so what I just did. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, people are... People, like, leave the area. Oh, boy. Like, someone looked like they were walking up, and they're like, Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Who's taking a drink? What do you think? Oh, uh, that's very good, Conker. And I, th I think with a little more, like, weeks of practice, you could be really good at that. What are you talking about? I'm already amazing. Yeah, of course. But, you know, we all, every, you, a musician, good musician never stops practicing. Just ask all exactly. of my friends. Exactly. So you let me practice with you, right? Um, we'll say you see about I'm that. I mean, right? Yeah, of course. We're, we're going to be in, we're going to be in Hollister for a while, so hit me up right about when we're going to leave. I don't know how stop long I'm going to be here. being a pushover. Fuck Yeah. I love it. How else am I supposed to- I can't, like, kick him off. I love- I love He's... Giuseppe being a fucking- I don't want to kick him off. He's feet tall. Kick him, literally. Kick him. You can pick him off. I, I don't want to kick, kick him, him my leg. I want to kick my leg off. Kick him off my leg. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go practice with the rest of the band. Oh, no. They're, they're all scattered around. You don't want to- You don't want to bother them right now. They're probably like- okay, I'll, just, I'll just- I'll just wait in the vibe end. Uh, uh, okay. His way of practicing with the whole band while they're scattered is to go grab one of those megaphones and play into it. Distant sounds of, like, dying... of a dying car <laughs> as he's practicing in <laughs> in the bar. Assuming that, like, Bung is, like, right next to me, I give him, like, this complicated signal that only he knows that means, like, you gotta get this child, like, away from me safely as soon as possible before I lose my god dang marbles. <laughs> that kind of oh. signal. He looks so disappointed in you. Oh, poor Quill. She's like, the closest one to him. Loser. Quill's the <laughs> closest <laughs> one to him. I don't yeah, want actually, to I think, like, you hear, you hear some tip tip tips come at you uh, as Quill's, like, kind of awkwardly, she's still not used to the, the crutch, but she's ho hobbling along. It's like, Giuseppe? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I don't Why is there a screaming thing in the bar? I don't know. He did. He did this himself. I don't want to shoot the guy. I don't know what to do. Well, if you don't, I will. Okay. This okay. is a sin against. This is a sin against the blue. Quill okay. 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 Calm down. Child. Calm down, Quill. I'm sorry. Let me handle this. Quill continues to be the best character by threatening to shoot a literal child. Absolutely. Quill, you killed a child. Great I'm work. Like, amazing. I'm 35. <laughs> He's not. I'm gonna Boy, say. I'm just gonna keep saying. Conker's 35 years old. He's, He's 13. He's younger than Rusty. He's weird. 13. <laughs> He's I need both. my medicine. <laughs> Okay, okay. You need to how do you? How do you? How, what is your recommendation for uh, getting a stray kid off of this? Getting a sassy lost child off of this boat? I'm looking at my moves now. She is so fucking ex exasperated at you for like asking that. Like, <laughs> figure it out. Okay, fine, I'll do Go it. Okay, I, I'm I'm tired. Um, okay, I think as it's you, I think as you like walk past her, she like smacks you with her crutch. Like, god damn. <laughs> Okay, I think it's time to do, like, a seduce and manipulate, because I'm not going to, like, pick this kid. Okay. Um, yeah, you, I, wanna, I see like... you're, you're, you're going to the bar. Yeah, I want to go to the bar, and I want to, like, tell Conker to, like, that we have, like, the boat is private quarters for now, and he should, like, go off and, like, like, play around in the daisies for a bit. And maybe we'll... The fuck is a daisy? Yeah, I don't know. No, play playing like the barnacles. I, what's what's around here? Yeah, the but Zuffy he once again tells someone to go drown. What? You to drown? The barnacles go on the boats. <laughs> yeah, he just like wants to get, he wants to get Conker like off the boat for like an extended period of time, 
And so hopefully that he can like keep him off the boat. Okay. Uh would you are you gonna roll that then? Yep, I will. This is this can only go so well. Please, psychic bot, I'm begging you. Please, I'm begging you, psychic bot. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm I'm losing my I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Oh, Please side gig oh. Oh, Damn! <laughs> wow. Damn! Thank you, Sir Kickbot. I'm uh, once again. I'm very sad that you still have not uh, been able to, as you know, uh, improve your moves. Because mm. like, you could have just like gotten him literally gone. I can resolve my. I can just like. You're already tempting me to. You're already tempting to me to immediately resolve his, his interest in my establishment. Listen, yeah. listen, if you had that 12 plus, you could have asked Lug to do something and you would have never seen the kid again. We Nobody would have known why. <laughs> I don't think Lug would know why. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, but yeah, you, you, you tell him to, like, hey, uh, you know, private quarters, gotta, you know, find somewhere else to play. He's like, I get it. You want me to share my work with the world? Yeah, yeah, get you do that. Get experience under my yeah. belt. All right. Yeah, mem remember, if people throw the tomatoes, that's just part of the, that's just part of the fun. What the fuck's a tomato? I don't know. <laughs> he and says that as he's running, arms flailing. Giuseppe knows like a lot about like stage terms, but never actually like what they mean. He knows what throwing tomatoes signifies, but never like he's never seen a tomato. He's not yeah, allowed he's, to say break trotting off, anymore. As he's trotting off, he like drops his violin. He's like, ah, fuck shit, and picks it back up, and then he's like, keep going. I'm so okay. Uh, yeah, good job doing that. Uh, remember to mark your good experience job. for yep. that. Uh. Let's see. I think now we'll do Lug. Lug, uh, you're looking around. Um, are you going to use any of the barter moves with this? Yes, I had it typed this whole time. Oh, shit, nice. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> so which, well, first, which barter move is this? Uh, it doesn't have a name, but it's when you go into a holdings bustling market looking for something in particular, thing to buy, and it's not obvious whether you should just be able to go buy it one. Uh, roll plus sharp on a 10 plus. Yes, you can just go buy that. Uh, on a 7 to 9, the MC chooses 1, uh, which it doesn't really matter since I got 10 plus. On a miss, uh, the MC chooses 1, and it's one more bugger. Damn. Uh, Damn. So I yeah. was looking so what were you for, looking for? Uh, just stuff to fix the filter, period. Okay. Uh, so you mean, like, uh, charcoal, did you want to, like, replace it, or did you want to, like, fix it? Uh, f what would the difference be? Well, if you replace it, what you're doing is you're getting more like charcoal, like granulated fine charcoal for the the for it. You're basically replacing what the filter uses, but not the filter itself. Um, and that's like always something you'll have to think about in the future, like because like if that gets bad, you have to replace it. This is at least replacement for. Uh, well, it depends on how much you want to pay. They might have more than just, like, you know, one set, you know, sort of. I'll call it a set. Uh, if you were to replace it, you could find something else that would re might, like, require something else. Like, say, uh, an electric filter that works off of energy that means that you would require more fuel. Or a filter that is, like, will slowly filter itself but requires a lot of time. I think just... I'm basically saying that, like, if you don't want to deal with, like, having to get new, like, filter shit, if something happens, like, you have choices. I think just getting the new filter stuff, but trying to see okay. if you can get more than one set. That's fine. I think, uh, you, you wander for at least, uh, two hours. Um, there's not, there's not a huge amount of, like, different local traders, and kind of, like, the vibe you get from a lot of it is that, like... The few traders that are still, like, clinging to them, to, like, this place are, like, local shops that are used to, like, how, like, the tides of prosperity, like, change, but they're not happy about it, and they're kind of, like, ugh, they're, they're very reluctant in a weird way. Like, you'd think that they'd be fine with selling you shit, but they're, like, you know, you, you get the feeling that they're giving shit off, like, at, cl like, clearance level, whereas before they were charging a mint. You know, they're like, they're selling shit at like 20%. Yeah, they're selling it at a loss. Yeah, at this point, yeah, a loss. A lot of them probably like bought a bunch of shit from traders who came and then can't like sell it. 
So you kind of like get like the like the king's bounty of shit to buy, uh, but you don't like find what you want because a lot of it's just like random shit that it's like you know here trade goods quote unquote, which is say knickknacks and garbage. Uh, but you do see one particular thing. There's like a kind of a large uh thing set off to the side that looks like it's just a big pile of bullshit like husks of things and bits and bobs and wires everywhere uh and you have to like go through like an actual like metal gate to get into it like it's all metal gated off with like uh some sharp wire at the top uh what do you do well oh you're going in i'm going in yeah, you, you go into the gate, uh, and, like, immediately someone, like, comes out of a little, a little hut. It's very small. Like, you have to, like, get on your knees to get into it. And they come out of that thing, like, faster than you realized a person could get out of a very small space. And it's like, what are you doing here? Ugh. Uh, it's like, Ugh. it's a... This dude is way too tall to have been in such a small space. Like, he's... I'd say he's, like, maybe an inch or two shy of Rusty's height, and Rusty's very tall. God! Uh, he's, like... He looks... Frankly, he looks like a spitting image of, like, an old prospector type. Yeah, that's... He, he looks like a... Like, like a... Pete. Yeah, he's got a tooth that doesn't... It's not gold, but it's, like... It's gilded with, like... I'll say copper. Which is to say that it's kind of rusted by now and looks green instead of, like, coppery. Uh, so he's got a, a big green tooth and a couple other missing teeth. Uh, a very grimy look to him. His hands are blackened by, like, working with shit a lot. And he's kind of, he's kind of stooped a little bit. He's like, what are you doing here? I'm looking for sets for a filter. I'm, 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 I'm... Why? <laughs> God. My Why? Our filter needs a new set. Oh, come on in! <laughs> and he, oh, okay. uh, he comes up behind you and he's like, he's starting to push you towards a little, uh... There's like two little... Uh, drums, I'll call them. Like, they're like the tops of an oil drum that was like cut right. off. Right, right. And uh, he's got like a little... Like, uh... Ca like a kerosene lamp, kind of... Or kerosene stove thingamajig that he's got a little pot on. Right, what like brings a you here? like a Bunsen burner. Yeah, like a Bunsen burner. He's like, well, what brings you here? Well, we not here, but Hollister. Well, I, I honestly don't know. I just know we need a new filter, and the more sets, the better. Honestly. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. He's definitely not listening to you. Uh. Like you say you filter? What kind of filter? Charcoal. Charcoal filter, huh? Charcoal filter. Let me see what I got. And, like, you thought that it was like a solid wall of scrap, but he somehow gets in between. Like, he just he's just <laughs> through the fucking, like, stuff God. and garbage. Yeah, Lug m kind of mumbles to himself, this guy's cool. The wall is, like, shaking. Like, you're afraid that it's going to topple over onto you, because you're sitting a little too close. Uh, and he's like, oh, fucking, let me just... Ah, oh, you get out of there! Can't let go of my leg! Uh, and then he bursts back through. Uh, and he's like, Heh. Heh. I got it! <laughs> uh, and he kind of, like, has a big old bag uh, that kind of, like, it looks much better than it should be, as though, like, it came out straight out of, like, a hardware store. But, uh, you can read on it, and it says, like, you know, uh, what's the word? Like, fine charcoal dust. You don't use dust for the filter, do you? Man, I don't fucking know. It's just fucking fine charcoal. It's good. Okay, I just, I just, I, I, need, I needed <laughs> I don't know, magic. man! I needed to determine if this was a scam or not, okay? No, don't, <laughs> you got the good roll, you don't get the scam. That's if you miss. Yeah, he like you know plops it back it down. And he's like, Ugh. so it brings a hair. Uh, all these filters that I needed. Which, uh, how much is this? We'll talk about it later. Not what here, Hollister. Not my shop. 
Uh, again, I honestly don't know. I'm not the captain. <laughs> I've never so been. So you're with my boat, is what you're saying. Yeah, I didn't recognize you. Yeah. Yeah, old Ellen Goldman would definitely recognize a face mask like yours. Right, right. So you got a crew and a boat. What y'all yes. do? Scavengers. Scavengers. Ah, yes, that's a that's a that's a noble profession if I ever knew it. I did that for a long time until I lost it all. Oh. Varga, he gives he gives an O as if she's saying like, I mean, I'm not, not gonna pry, but I mean, if you wanna if you wanna open up a little for me. I'm fine. Fine with that. He gets real. He gets real quiet for a bit. <clears throat> so, I gave everything I had and and everything I didn't have, all for that one treasure, and I still didn't get it. What is it? Well, pal, I'll tell you this, cause I like you. I known you for thirty seconds, and I love you like my own son, who I lost. <laughs> In the incident. <laughs> I hope I don't lose you. There's a y you might have heard. I uh, maybe not. Uh, there's a bit of a local legend in Hollister. I don't know if anybody else has it. They probably do. So I guess it's not a local legend. It's just a legend in general. I really it's like this man. It's called the Logia's Egg. Huh? It's an art. It's an artifact of the old before times. Something. Something that is multiple things. It's a it's a bunch of stuff. And it can give you anything you want if you can just make it whole. And not just myself believes it's real either. I'm sure it's real. I'm pretty sure I've seen one of them just as by... Just like... Just as a... Just as a... You know. Uh, many people in this place believe it's real. Lots of folks who have... Lost more or less than I have. I, I'm lucky to have my life. What's it like? Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I thought I saw it, but I might have just been dying of dehydration. See, I went out there on nothing but a dinghy, with nothing but my jug, and my teeth. And I didn't come out with all my teeth. I lost my jug, too. And my Aww. dinghy. I'm, uh, I'm sorry about that. Yep. Yeah. You remember about the Logia's egg. If you ever find one of those, you hold it tight. I, I, I don't I, I don't know what they are. They would have oh, if... He looks like straight in your eyes and he looks like he looks through you and he's like, You will. Man, this really this guy really does remind him of Grandpappy. So what else you want around here? Not probably just not the charcoal. I'm sure a man of your stature and 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 ripped physique would like some more than just that. Well, uh, I have a friend who lost something recently as well. Her, uh, mm -hmm. hate to her, see it happen. Her leg. Hate to see it. And happen. Uh, I'm looking for 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 something. I need. I'm I'm building her a new one. I don't know how. Hmm. Well, folks lose lose legs sometimes. I'm sure some folks have some ideas. I don't have much idea on myself, but I'll try to see what I got. Let me see. And he heads back into that that horrid wall, and more sounds come out. It's like it's in or it like gains intensity, like as though like getting the the charcoal was just like. A stroll. This is like an adventure for him. And I he loves hears, this. You can hear screams and yells and and crashes and bangs and like you're pretty sure you hear a gunshot or two. Good, good. <laughs> and he comes back out and he's covered. He's covered head to foot in 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 grease and soot. And you're you're pretty sure you see a lot of blood and you're not sure if it's his. Uh. And how long was this? This took maybe one minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Damn rats! Uh, and he comes out with uh, let me think. What does he come out with? A human leg. 
<laughs> he comes out with his own leg. No. Uh, <laughs> but he still has both on. It's weird. God. Fucked up. Oh, losing it. He comes out with Quill's disembodied foot. How did he get that? <laughs> the same box and everything. God. Can he come back with my eye too, please? <laughs> I think that'll take more than a minute, unfortunately. Yeah. Gotta go wrestle Jerry for that one. This man is powerful. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Uh, okay. He comes out with this... It's it's like it's moving, is the thing. Like, it's the moment you see it, it's oh. already, like, moving, but it's only doing, like, the same sort of flexation motion. You know, it's just, like... It's like it's like thrashing, but as though it doesn't have much like ability to thrash. And he's got it in like a little bundle. He's like, I think I got just what you need, pal. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he opens it, and it's like it look. It's a cylinder. It's like a metallic cylinder. Give me, give me a moment. I'm getting an image. image. I love the thought of just a cylinder being held out to Lug, and Lug just sitting there looking at it silently. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Man, Lug gets to do the cool stuff while I have to deal with sassy lost children. <laughs> okay. I suppose. Hey, Why is hey, he I'm naked? Gonna have to I'm gonna have to censor this out in post now. Thanks, please, Wynn. Please do. I would love that. <laughs> Thanks, Wynn. I gotta go do that now. No, no, it's, this, this, this is exactly that episode <laughs> where uh, <laughs> it's the magical f spatula that is yeah, thrashing you, around. But you see this, uh, what do you do? What do you say? What is it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> okay, give me, give me a moment. I wish I had things speak, honestly. God, you wish you did, huh? I still have an improvement point, but would that be cheating? Uh, you've already taken your improvement, so. No, I have. I have another point. I had two. Another. I had you know two. what? Wait. Fucking sure. Yeah, just go ahead and take your move. Wayne, you should do that you... Uh, once you get it, dude. So, uh, if you if you still you really can't. do have like an improvement point left, then I, hey. I still really do have an improvement point okay. left. Are you, are pulling, you still a whole level, level ahead of us? <laughs> not pulling the wool, uh, because I was saving I was saving this specifically for a gang later, but well, if you don't wanna, you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. I guess I have things to speak now. Are you sure? <laughs> it seems like we encounter enough weird bullshit to where I might as well. Things speak on the egg. Things speak on Rusty. Things speak is a good move, though. Uh, are you sure? I'm. I th I'm. I don't know. I'm looking at these questions now, actually. I don't think these are actually that good questions in most cases. So you saving it? Yeah, I'm gonna save it. I don't think think, think speak is worth it. Can I uh? You can examine it like normal. Yeah, and, and I'm one page behind. Let me look at this. So read a sitch person. Yeah, I don't know if uh, any of this is particularly relevant. Relevant. There's just gonna be probably stuff that I can tell you about it. What would I? You, what would you want me to roll? Uh, sure. No, nothing. Oh, nothing. Because like I'm just telling you about what it is. I, I'm I, doing an examination. I th yeah, I do an examination. Uh, it's a. It is literally like no Fuck. seams, no. Why are you rolling? Rolling for examination. You That's don't not have a move. To. Just now. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, we're gonna ignore that roll. Uh. It is a like complete cylinder, like no no seams, no uh you know, no no visible uh 
joints, but it seems to flex every once in a while, like completely of its own volition. Sometimes it flexes a lot, sometimes it flexes a little, but it seems to be some sort of strange metal thing. Poke it. You're not even sure if it's even a thing or if it's just the metal itself. Glug, glug. But it's... Glug reaches glug. out to poke it. Uh, it reacts. Mm. Like, when you poke it, it, like, flexes uh, in your direction. Not like it's trying to, like, grab you or anything, but, like, that it's reacting. It's like, uh... It's like if you were to poke, like, a sea sponge, and it, like, kind of, like, you know, contracts... Yeah, that's the closest I think I could call it. It's like it's like a literally a, a metal sea sponge. Or sea sponge, sea cucumber, damn. Where did you get this? I don't fucking No, I'm just kidding with you. I found this thing in my yesteryears. And he gets that far off look again. It... Now I'm kidding with you. I found this in a weird warehouse once. <laughs> I can't remember if it was underwater or if it was above water and it was actually just the warehouse nearby. But I'm not going to think about that. Warehouse nearby. Is it used for anything? I mean, like, you know, local, local folk. Rich folk. They want to store their dumb shit. Wait, did you steal this? Look, I'm not saying I did. I'm saying I don't remember rightly, and I'm not gonna think about it. And you shouldn't either. Uh, no, I won't. I won't think about it. Eh, it's I the just, spirit. I just want to know: does this require maintenance? What? What the thing? Yeah. Or the or the warehouse? The thing. I don't know. It's been like this. Uh, look, you, you, you know where I went to get this thing. It. I. Sh I haven't touched this thing in years. <laughs> how much for this and the soot or the charcoal? Mm, how many charcoal you want? How many you got? That's a big factor in this, mm, bud. God, you're gonna make me go back there, ain't you? If you're gonna, you brought the bag out. I did ride the back out. I'm gonna get more. How, how many is in the one bag? That's one bag. <laughs> how many charcoals in one bag is like asking how many grains of rice are on the bottom of this blue, you dumb shit. <laughs> Don't be me to lie. But nah, I'm sorry. That's very rude of me. This is fine. Okay. I, I, th I think one bag is enough. You sure? Mm. Is it too much to ask for another bag? It is, but I'll get you in anyway if you give me money. How much for one bag? Mm, this many. He just holds up, like, it'll be a barter per bag. I'd like another bag then, yeah. Alright! Release the dogs of war! And he runs back in. Uh, and then he comes back out after ten seconds this time. He's like, just kind of plops it back down. Well, there's those. And for this, uh, thing. Mmm, this thing. Mmm, don't know if I could let that go for just money, but you did need it for someone. Mmm, how about you do me a favor instead? What kind of favor? Well, you come over here by my little... <sighs> Come sit here by the fire and have some of my brew. All right. And I'll tell you. I think Lug accepts he's only had alcohol lately because uh, he he's too stubborn to accept the water. I think Stu you'll would be, do him You'll good. be sorely, sorely disappointed in that this is very much alcohol. Damn it. Uh, it's hot Dr. Pepper alcohol. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, is there no. a lemon in it? <laughs> yeah, is there a lemon in it? Is there what? Lemon? Lemon. Yes, of course. Oh, well, no. Is it, there does is, it have a bubble? Like, there's like... Are, are there bubbles? Like... <laughs> are there bubbles? <laughs> yeah. Of course yeah. there's bubbles! Okay, then okay, that makes good. up for I'm it. Like, like this video. Like that makes it up for it. Sure, there's a plastic... Okay. Yeah, no, anyway. the bubbles make up for it. You'll have some. <laughs> well, pal, it's just very simple. What I want you to do, alright? Now just listen. 
break into that warehouse and steal everything you can. What? You heard me right. And I ain't gonna repeat myself. If you do it, I'll give you the thing. If you don't, then well... I'll have to keep it and then do something else with it. I don't know what I'd do with it, but I'm gonna keep it. Huh. He holds out his hand and he's like, do we have a deal? I think... My hand's getting tired. <laughs> I need to think on this, bud. That's a lot to ask. Ah, it's not nothing. I don't even know how big... Just think of it as a... As a... As a... Wealth redistribution, right? That's it. Redistributing the wealth. Just like them fellers at uh, uh, the millions say. Huh. Why couldn't I just use my bone barter? <laughs> Well, this is good. This thing goes farther than barter. What the fuck is this thing? You don't know. I don't know. Then who's to say it's that valuable? Me. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no, no ulterior tasks. Not really. I need to talk to my associates. Sure thing. I think with that, Rug pays him the two barter for the, the charcoal, and I think he's heading back to the boat. I think he throws in a wheelbow for free. He likes you. Rad. Can you I get a wheelbow for those very wheelbow. heavy bags. <laughs> it's not great, it's like rickety as fuck and kind of rusted, but like it'll get you there. You know what? I like this guy, give him an extra barter. <laughs> Just one for the road. Yeah. Here's a little extra for uh, for some, you know, a little extra spending money. He's like, well, thank you, pal. You don't be a stranger. I won't. Uh, Rusty. Yeah. Uh, so you want to go around and get the lay of the land? Yeah, and see if there's anything nice looking to buy. In okay, general. Okay. Uh... I think, like, most of what you find is a lot of knickknacks. There's not a whole lot of, like, cool shit. Was, did you have anything in particular in mind to... Uh, did you want to use any barter moves or anything like that? Uh, I'll do one for fun. Just for fun. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, it's just a regular-ass roll, right? Uh, which one are you wanting? Uh, I thought it was Ru what? Rusty there's just two, goes like... aggro on the entire marketplace. <laughs> uh, there's, there's like several barter moves. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, I I'm like blurred my vision on it and like oh yeah, it's just like I, everything I under else. I understand. Okay. It's all right. uh, of course, these are pretty much like if you know what you want or know a thing that you want. Uh, but that can get your foot in the door. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, the most most of what you're finding is like just Junk. like kind of junk like people have clothes you know they have the things that they mostly want you probably have most of the stuff you want yeah nobody plus, in the cult plus, really wants it. yeah yeah plus like a lot of the actual traders are gone rather than other than like the locals uh so but you know hey um we could consider one of these moves like uh you know, finding the seedy underbelly type move. Like a black market type deal. Oh yeah, can I do that? Just like... He goes right to where accident? Lug was. Oh, absolutely. That'll be Hell part yeah, of the move. That's, he, that's what I want. He just goes okay. right so, uh, to where Lug was. So, let's see. Like, What would you think is like something that's hard to find, but you might be able to find in like a black market that you're looking for? Uh. Like guns, weapons, armor, drugs... Uh, illicit goods, mercenaries. Hey, yeah, can I find some uh, illicit good of a incredibly, incredibly large T-shirt? Rusty, You're disgusting, Rus disgusting. Rusty accidentally hires a hooker. You don't have to try to do that. 
Yeah, Rusty could do that easily. He's also, got like, barbers. that's not super seedy. Like, there's no, no. like, anti prostitution shit in this world. Oh, good, good. It's the, okay, it's the that's oldest good. profession. Like, sex workers aren't, like, looked down on. Uh, if you want to fuck, I... you can pay people. Can I buy a whole ass stove? A whole ass and, stove. And some knives. More knives. You ask someone for it, they go, okay, sure. Think, they break into someone's house and bring it out. I think it. it's not the stove that gets you into a weird area. It's looking for knives. Because a lot of okay. folks are just like, mm, they're kind of side-eyeing you. Until, like, one of the locals who's just kind of been watching you for a bit, like, kind of, like, comes up to you and grabs your shoulder and is like, Hey, pal. You want some knives, right? It, yeah. Yeah, it. Well, uh, you got some. Yeah, I got some. You just uh, just uh, follow these directions, and he he gives you some very specific directions, like going down certain alleys, and then like taking several steps in a direction, and then turning another direction, and then walking, like a lot of like it's stuff that like makes no fucking sense. It's like you're looking for treasure. Exciting! I want to do that. Treasure. Treasure. Uh, yeah, you you wander around. Uh, and I think at one point you actually, like, find one of your cultists. Like, oh, I hey. think, uh, they're also kind of wandering a bit. We're gonna say it's... Which one was Himbo? Isle? <laughs> Isle was Himbo. Isle yeah, you see... Himbo. That's all, that's his only Isle. personality. That's his only personality <laughs> trait so far. Yeah, he's, he's still only just, like, handsome boy. There are only two types of people in this world. Himbo and Bimbo. <laughs> Is he? Is he? Does he I have like I, animal pouch you know, too? Let's add some. Let's add some color to yeah. uh, to Isle. Oh, yeah, let's add some... Does he have like Isle's animal got, pouch uh, or something? Yes. No. Uh, no. Yes. No. He's a millionaire. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's a millionaire, so he looks like yeah. one of the millionaires. Yeah, he looks a lot like uh, Lena. Uh, but he's got uh, he's got blonde hair. Uh, you're pretty sure that he does something to his hair to make it like that. Uh, and he's got a he's got a, a tank top that says ah. uh, that's just says boy on it in big letters. <laughs> Spelled right? Yes. Okay. okay With good. quotation marks. It's got quotation marks. Is it centered? No. <laughs> um, and then he's wearing, uh, we'll say swim trunks. He's got swim trunks on. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, I think he's 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 rocking boy. he's rocking some stubble. He's my fucking dream boy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, what kind of sh oh, shoes boy. or no shoes? Uh, he's got shoes. They're just uh Nike sneakers. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna wave him over like, <laughs> hey, what's up? Like, ah, oh, hey, boss. Yeah, I was actually looking for you. Oh uh, yeah. What's yeah. Up? Me me and the folks, uh, we got together and we wanted to give you a little gift. Another yeah. one! And uh, he's like, thankfully I was the one who's was giving it because <laughs> I'm just the best for that. Uh, he's like, here, man. Uh, and he pulls out... This is like, getting strange. He pulls out... Uh, it's a length of, of cloth and it's got like a le some legitimately like really interesting patterning on it. It's like the sort of pattern that you find at like your grandfather or your, your, like your grandparents like you know house like old very weirdly elegant uh like uh floral patterns not floral no but not like floral they're very they're very swoopy okay. like lots of swirls and shit oh that that's a, is okay. it covered it's in colored, plastic like a, it's colored a deep it's colored a deep blue Ew. like it's a it's very very striking. It's like, yeah, we got you a new shawl, man. <laughs> yeah, get rid of the fucking flag, idiot. <laughs> do you like it? I do, actually. It looks really nice. Thank you. Fuck ya. yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. It's nice. just... Okay, so it's wrapped up. Nothing wrapped up in with it. It's just folded. Yeah. Yeah, it's a folded shawl. Uh, if you wanted okay. to wear it, you'd have to like <laughs> unfold it and then actually you know, put it on you. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. First and foremost, before unfolding it, I'm going to just swipe the um, flag already on my near balding head. <laughs> it's gonna go around my shoulders like, you know, a hoodie. Right. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna unfold it very nicely. 
gonna put it on. Hell yeah. Yeah, I think yes. uh, in an in interesting way, it doesn't get like damp. Like, oh, your part of it is what? that like your flag seems to have like usually been the source of a lot of dampness on your head. Uh, but the the your new shawl uh, just it doesn't seem to retain water. Oh, it's like yeah, like that's this. from all of us, man. Oh, thank you guys very, very, very much. I gotta do something or pay you guys for this. Oh uh, no, nah, man, you already got us plenty of shit. We're good. You just nah, have nah. a nice day, pal. You look like you're kind of busy, so hey, I'm just gonna head out. Nah, you wanna join me? Actually. Uh, a day with the boss. Yeah, sure. You, you don't you have going? to keep call. You don't have to keep calling me boss. By the way, you can just call me Rusty. That's okay. <laughs> You gonna just let me call you Rusty? Damn. I mean, I mean, everybody can. Come a little strong there, but all right, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you wanna like get together after this? Yeah. What are we doing? Oh, you know, <laughs> winky face. I, I don't know. Just let me just approve of this. <laughs> just set me far in the distance. Hey, I hear what you guys are doing back there. <laughs> No, no, no frolicking on my sh no frolicking on the SS Exodia. <laughs> well, sure, sure, bud. I don't see why not. Fuck yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's do what you were doing. What were you doing, man? Uh, I was following some directions from some guy. Sick, sick. Let's follow those directions, man. All right. And <laughs> grabs him by the shoulder. <laughs> walks around like over over the shoulder by the way like nice. around, yeah i think he, he keeps a, a hand behind the small of your back hell yes uh and uh y'all kind of just like you're leading obviously but he's just like there with you making small small talk but uh you eventually get to uh, a pretty dark area in like kind of the middle of a bunch of like seemingly abandoned like shanties uh but you hear like some noise and before you know it, you're in uh, a slightly more lit up uh, <laughs> uh, area, and like you see a bunch of a bunch of folks, you know, like kind of hunched over, looking very seedy, looking very illicit. Uh, and you see, uh, you know, there's a vendor selling a bunch of like different sick knives. Uh, <laughs> some other folks. Uh, you know, hawking various uh, goods, well, not generally for use, but for like, you know, ch smuggle and shit. Oh. But uh, someone, fun. I think someone from the crowd like sees you and like comes up to you and is like, "Hey, so what you here for, pal? You ain't uh, <laughs> you ain't a cop, are you?" What's a cop? Fuck yeah, nice. All right. <laughs> so what you looking for, pal? Uh, you got any knives, dude? Oh, we got the most knives. We got every knife. And it's like, let me take you over to my friend Bingy. Bingy! Bingy. He's like, yeah! We got a live one! He's like, fuck yeah! Uh, and there's just like a wall of knives. Hell yes, like, dude! Just like a bunch of a bunch of sick like uh, knives on little stands that are made out of like plaster. Like, you know, someone stuck a knife in silly putty. <laughs> Uh, and it's like, look at all my knives. You like these knives? Yeah, you love these knives. What kind of knife do you want, pal? Do you want the ones that change colors? Do you want ones that get real hot? Yeah, they got 3,000 degree knives if you want them. We just got... You just gotta also buy this, uh... This heating device with you. That's an extra barter. But can the heating device be the exact kiln that we sold very early in the game? It can be part of it. Oh! <laughs> That's really good, actually. I remember we sold a kiln. What? You don't remember that? Maybe. A I guess like bit. a billion questions about that kill. Okay, I think I remember <laughs> it now, actually. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, one of them cha color changing one sounds interesting. Yeah, some sick stuff, ain't it? Yeah, here's one. It changes from red to gold, and you gotta just put some cold water on it, and it goes from the red to the gold. You can make a great gradient, or if you stab someone, it goes fully gold, and it's just like with the blood on it. Ah, oh, yeah, that looks some great shit. Uh, I got this other one. It goes uh, from its normal gray to a sick blue, and all you gotta do is just lick it. 
<laughs> and it changes. <laughs> no shit, Rusty's gonna go for that one. You sold sick. him. Sick, sick, sick. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a uh, barter for you. <laughs> barter, sure. All right. <laughs> Alright, sick knife added. Uh, we'll call- you can call it sick knife if you like. Uh, it is, uh, um, just about a normal knife, so two harm, hand, uh, two harm. Okay. and- but, uh, it is- oh yeah, two harm, hand, and, uh, add the valuable tag to it. I think that's the, the right tag for it. Valuable, color changing. Yeah, color changing, valuable. That basically just means that if, uh, yeah, it would be worth one more barter than usual, because like a knife generally would not straight up be a barter. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's uh, there's a whole lot of stuff around here. Lots of rad looking shit. There's there's guns. There's drugs. There's knives. There's parts and stuff at uh, at you know rare stuff at uh, high prices, but they're there. Uh, let's see here. Anything particularly interesting out of everything else? Something different that sticks out? I think that uh, you find someone, uh, a relatively less, like, common stall. The guy who was, like, showing you around earlier left after, like, he got you to someone. Uh-huh. Uh, he's probably, like, a, what do they call him? Like, a, a hawker or a runner for that guy. You know, someone uh -huh. who tries to get folks to come in. Uh, there's a, a corner of the room that's just got, like, a just like a very sullen looking dude uh who's just kind of like sitting down on a, a stool in the middle of like a bunch of stuff that's just laid on on the ground uh and this some of the stuff looks pretty interesting like w but one is looks like it looks similar to the stoves you've seen in uh in like submerged houses but it looks like a lot weirder Ooh. uh what do you do i want to examine it i want to i want to get some good eyes on it Okay, you, you step up to it, and uh, the guy's like, Hey, wait, a hold on. Don't look, but don't touch, my man. Alright. What are you looking well, for? I want to know what this thing is. He points to it. Oh, that thing. Uh, let me get the battery. And he uh, he walks behind a curtain. And like you hear a scraping. <laughs> as he like lugs out this very large industrial sized battery and just dragging oh. it on like a rope and everybody in the room like looks and like looks daggers in this in your both your directions like, <laughs> unfazed uh, 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 let me hook this shit up and he plugs it in uh and it hums to life uh and like you know after a bit it makes a bunch of like little noises and beeps and boops and like uh a light below a word that says ready like turns on hmm. would you like a demonstration you yeah, sure cool and uh he reaches into a, a nearby uh cooler that is filled with the uh, small cans as well as a uh, one big fish and he tosses that fish onto the uh a sort of yeah it's like a built-in pan kind of thing on top of it uh-huh uh and then he presses the uh initiate or no he, he he hits fillet uh and it just like it slices it dices it does karate uh and like it's just like immediately like this 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 fish is fucking like ready like mm -hmm. the the bad bits have been thrown into a little pail a little like a little bag a little i will just say a bucket a bucket below it does he off can Rusty get the bad bits as a sample to taste? Oh, of course. <laughs> if he asks for it. No, I'm not gonna ask for that. It's like it's do you like what kind do you like Do you like sushi? Do you it's even know what like... sushi is? Uh No. It's like fish. But not that. <laughs> it's like fish. <laughs> well, I know what fish is, and I know what not fish is. Okay. Then he hits another button that's like, uh, just it's a button that isn't uh, labeled. It looks like some of the labels are like rubbed off, and uh, it like cuts it into like little bits that are like, you know, kind of like uh, about the size of your finger. 
Yeah. And he hands you one. He's like, here you go. No oh, bones. Hot dog. No bones. No organs. Just the good shit. I'm gonna eat it. Hell yeah. And he like you know grabs the the rest of it and like scoops it uh onto uh a little plastic plate he's got. He starts chewing on him. Uh, like, yeah, yeah it's pretty sick. I'm gonna give uh, Isle the other half of it. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh man, that's fucking rad, bro. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's pretty rad, bro. <laughs> so, I showed you it. So what? Mm. Do you want it? Mm. 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 Uh, I got okay. other stuff here if you want to see that too. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, so this thing runs on its own battery. No, it runs off of other electricity. It other electricity. Have any, it, yeah, it has no internal battery. Okay, because you said that he dragged a battery out, so I assume that went with it. But like, nope. Oh. Okay. That's uh, I think he explains at one point. This is not for sale. It's mine. <laughs> okay. He, he probably gets you uh, more in information like than just the the shit after like he's given you the the. Demonstration. Demonstration. Uh, and he says, like, it's some sort of battery-operated food preparer. It doesn't cook anything. It has no heating elements. But it can debone. It can shear. It can And if dice, only we had that for the it can, it can do a bunch of cool shit. Uh, it's a lot bigger than, like, a cook or a bunch of knives to cook, cut shit. But it does its job pretty well. Cause now I'm thinking if Lost and Found would absolutely love this thing, it would cut down on their work, and you know, it, they're still cooking, but you know, the hard part's over. Right. Yeah. How much? Oh yeah. Are you? I think he like kind of like gets broken out of his weird soul. It's like, are you? Are you for real? Yeah. How I'm much? Cut. Give me a sec. This is the first time someone's bought anything from me. Holy shit. Huh. <laughs> Finally. We did it. This did it. I couldn't, this you did I it. sell a thing. You I didn't pass this out. Oh, mom. I'm gonna go I did it. it. I'm gonna pat him on the back. A little okay. Bit. No. Get. Don't touch me. You're really wet. <laughs> okay. Back up. Huh. Don't touch me. You'll ruin my battery. <laughs> okay. Don't mess this up. Gerald. Gerald. Huh. And he sounds a lot like Jerry. I don't like this man. I, I like this man. <sighs> Eight barter. Yes. Eight barter. Hmm. If you wanted, you could wanna... try to haggle. Like, yeah. This that's... Is, as an aside, you could attempt to like. I want to haggle. I'd call it seduce and manipulate. Uh, seduce or manipulate, huh? And what is this? Hold on. What's up? Yeah, I'll seduce or manipulate so manipulate him for a lower price. All right. All right. So just roll. Yeah, go ahead. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. It's okay. I got the base at least, so I uh, could get at least half off. <laughs> half off's a bit hoping. much. Yeah, but... I know. <laughs> I th actually, I think that's what you do. You're like, mm, uh, actually, yeah, just like say like, uh, actually, for barter. <laughs> Do it in your rusty voice, because I can't do it. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Ashley. Barter. More barter. I think he, like, gets real red. <laughs> He's like... Oh. I got a knife. <laughs> got a knife. I got a gun. You wanna see I'll it? ignore that, because this is my first fucking sale. You want to see Look. it? <laughs> no. Okay. I'm not going any lower than seven barter. He definitely is willing to go less than seven barter. Uh, yeah, hey, I want to read a person real quick. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> uh, what is that? That is, uh, sharp. sharp. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, what is more sharp? <laughs> Which one? Okay. <laughs> Damn, Warp. can't. Damn. Okay. Mm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, go ahead and ask your question. 
I want to ask how can I get this character to give me it at a incredibly, incredibly disgustingly low price. I'm gonna say it's impossible. Impossible. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, impossible, boy. huh? Yeah, he's not gonna go lower mm -hmm. than seven. More than seven. The joke with this dude is that he, uh, you haggle him down to free. <laughs> the platinum discount. Uh, let's see. What else do I got? Um. Shit, I'm gonna roll like seducer manipulate again. Am I allowed that? Uh, no, you already did it. Damn. Sorry, pal. It's seven or nothing. Uh, seven or nothing, huh? Hold on, let me do my math. That's half your barter, idiot. No, I've got 13 barter, idiot. Then <laughs> you'd have six yeah. barters. Yeah, hey, you think I do math? Yeah. You think I do math for a living? Sometimes. Sometimes? Mm. Mm, it's really nice, and I can eat the little giblets. <laughs> hmm. Look, man, seven barter, and I'll give you the rest of the sushi. Deal! <laughs> Sick! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! He like runs over to like the knife guy and he's like, IN YOUR FUCKING FACE, DEREK! <laughs> Derek. <laughs> okay, so now I've got a fancy He's just- he's just gonna run around machine. the room he's like, <laughs> You were saying something? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna add just a fancy new cutting machine to my inventory. Nice. Does it have a, uh, does it it have a name? Big. I don't know. Fancy cutting machine. <laughs> okay, so it's this mysterious big, box. Big cutting machine. Do you think Himbo and I can lift it, or at least drag I think it around? Himbo himself, uh, <laughs> Isle uh, himself. <laughs> uh, he could just. I'm so sorry. You called him Himbo first. <laughs> I did. I did. Uh, I'm sorry. Trait that was given to him at birth. So. I think uh, he like lifts it on his own. <laughs> Holy shit! His mother, Holy his mother shit. saw his face and went. Hmm, yeah, I, uh, I lift. Yeah, I, I lift shit. sometimes with this little. Can he lift me? Not if Rusty, but me. Me, Seth, the human being. Yeah, just hit me up later, pal, and I'll lift. Okay, what's his number? <laughs> <laughs> five, five, five. Get over here. <laughs> Shit, is there anything else? I ain't uh, spending my barter anytime soon, so shit. What do you mean, is there anything else? Is there anything else interesting at this dude's stall? <laughs> uh, a lot of it is literal junk. Literal junk, okay. Like it, it, what you can tell is that he seems to like be in the business of trying to sell like free world artifacts, but most of them are literally shit. Oh, so nothing. They're either Giuseppe. like completely broken or like like it's impossible to understand them. Oh, nothing Giuseppe would be interested in. Well, <laughs> when you say that... Yeah, what, what, would it be of interest to Giuseppe? There's, mm -hmm. uh, there's a talking fish. <gasps> there's a talking fish! You know, one of those singing basses. <gasps> Holy shit, Bass. I need one. Can Giuseppe, like, discover this place? <laughs> No. Okay. You're too much of a square. Seth, if you buy this- <laughs> Yeah, you're a cop. I I'm yeah, still cop. selling stuff. <laughs> Seth, if you buy me a yeah, talking fish, I'll stuff. give you a boater. It just said is a huge narc. Hey man, no, no metagaming. I'm not no metagaming. Gaming. Uh, hey, can I- oh, what's that? I'm gonna point to the fish. Can you cook that? <laughs> not knowing that it's not a fish. I think, uh, he's a little ways away still going like, Fuck yeah! Uh, and, like, hey, sees you interested in something else, like, <laughs> second sale! That! And he, like, he's, like, out of that stupid, like, stupor thing he was in. He's just like, this, uh, <laughs> actually, uh, this is a, uh, a, a pre-war, or not pre-war, a, pre a before times artifact. This, watch, you don't cook it, it's not real. Alright. And he like all right, all right. He, he lifts it up and like there's a, he like messes with a thing on the back and then it starts like flopping and it's saying things and it's like it's, it's a it's distorted it's like fucking uh, country mama 
Take me home, country road, <laughs> West Virginia. Does it does it just stop working halfway through? No, it keeps going, and what? everyone's looking at you like at, in your direction with pissed off eyes again. <laughs> no effect. Rusty's used to that shit. It ain't gonna phase him. <laughs> uh. How much is that now? This, my fine friend, is a two bar two barter. Mm. Mm. He's gonna eat one of the uh, fish. Pieces. Just like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think, I? Uh, I don't think. <laughs> I'm just hot. <laughs> Why would you want that? Is it a gift or something? I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty sick. <laughs> I think you you could get... Yeah, I think it's cool. I'm a little intimidated, to be honest. Oh? Yeah, what's that? It's talking, dude. We're talking. Yeah, but that's a fish. It's not a fish. It's a before times. It's a. It's a before times fish. I've seen a fish talk. Once. What? Maybe twice. Well, this is the third fish you've ever seen talk, man. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> shit! Shit! My stuff's starting to get knocked over. <laughs> I love to fucking art. I think the uh, guy the guy's starting to like sweat a little bit and he's like, uh, so, uh, can I expect uh, your, uh, can I, uh, a, a sale or, uh, also it's final, no refunds. Um, yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. You didn't have yeah, to, you didn't have to get this for me. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, I yes, know. yes, He's like, I know yes, I yes, 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 he's it. like fist pump in the air, like, fuck, yeah, fuck, yeah, I'm a real traitor now. Fuck you, Dad. Does he uh, anyone when he says that? What? Is he like addressing someone when he says that? No, he's just saying it to himself. God, I wish he would. I wish that his dad was in the room when he said that. <laughs> yeah. All otherwise, right. uh, if you um, that you think that's like the last of the trading you're gonna do, uh, there's also a, a small bar in this area. All right. Uh, Ooh, a bunch Giuseppe of a bunch of similarly seedy folks sitting at the bar, like competition for Giuseppe. Mm. Yeah, they've got they've got uh, they've got uh, more bright, more shiny knickknacks than uh, Giuseppe has. Oh, like more ornate and interesting and lit up stuff. I want to just take a look. I'm not interested in buying any beer or anything. Well, if you wanted a drink, it I wouldn't be a full wanna... barter. Okay, I just want to look though. Okay. Yeah, uh, you can come over there and he's like, you buying? I'm looking. All right, he get my attention if you want anything. Uh, oh, no? He says, get my attentions if you want anything. All right. And it goes back to, to addressing other customers. Uh, All right. It just seems like a pretty nice place. Like, a lot less seedy than you'd think. I uh, like this place. But I think nearby, uh, some folks are having a small discussion. They're like, hey, did you hear? I I heard there's someone with the uh, with the you know the uh that uh, the Logia thing around. And it's like, just stop fucking thinking about that stupid uh that stupid myth. It's the dumbest thing I ever heard. It's like, nah, man, it's real. I swear to God, it's real. There's no fucking way it's impossible. Everybody knows it's real. It's like, yeah, well, I don't know it's real because you're a fucking idiot. And it's like, you're a fucking idiot. And it's like, ah, you shut up, you piece of shit. And it's like, I drink your beer, you fucking baby. And then uh. He's like, I know the Logia artifact's real. You know how I think I know it's real? Cause, uh, cause I knows a guy who did it, who did it once. And he's like, Yeah, yeah, you know every every, every stupid two bit idiot who believes who says anything to you. He's like, Nah, I'm I'm saying it's real. And uh, one of them like kind of looks over his shoulder, uh, over uh, the other guy's shoulder, uh, in your direction, Rusty, and kind of his eyes get a little bit wide. Yeah. And he goes, I know it's real, cause the my friend Mike and his his brother Mike. And then his other friend Mike, uh, they all went on an adventure together and <laughs> found it. And then you know how I thought he's like, shut the fuck up. And he like smacks the other dude and he's like, What what? What what the fuck is it? And he's like he kinda like points his chin over at in your direction and the guy looks a bit and he's like And then 
Yeah, he sees the fucking egg with the hat and sunglasses on <laughs> and a baby carrier. Yeah, uh, and then they they leave. <laughs> well, uh, um, hey, I, you, you, need, you need a drink, bud. Oh, I don't drink before 6 p.m., baby. What time is it currently in the game, in, in the world? I think it's getting close to, to maybe one thirty. Getting close was, to 2. I was hoping you were going to say it was past 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, this is still going on while uh, Apom, or uh, while Giuseppe is still selling shit. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, bud. You, you want another uh, one of these fish slices? Fuck yeah. I'm going to give it to him. Yummy. <laughs> fish. Just, just feed him. The fish because he's he's busy just, just have a nice baby. time and just like mm, yummy. <laughs> God, yummy, I wish yummy. it was rusty. Right <laughs> <laughs> well, you got aisle in this, so yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Uh, I am. I'm appreciating all of him. <laughs> yeah, after after you you fucking flirt the fuck out of aisle. Uh, uh, do you like leave and go back, yeah. or do you have some? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> yeah, session fourteen is when we start getting horny on me. <laughs> Session 14, the one where I, I start not, living. I have not been horny on main. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, uh, yeah, you said that uh, round now is when you go back? Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I've seen all I need to see down here. I bought my, my fancy color changing knife. Uh, I bought this cutting machine, a talking fish. Nice. I've had uh, a good time. Yeah, I think... Uh, you're you're walking uh, through the alleys, and it's a bit harder to find your way back than like to go there. Uh -huh. It's very it's like it's really maze like back here. Um, and like it seems as though like the higher the sun gets, the darker like the alleys get. Uh, and I was like, man, this place it's pretty rad. <laughs> sure is, huh? Yeah, we got this sick box. We got that fish. We ate some fish. It's pretty cool. Yeah, real good time. Uh, yeah. You remember how to get back. Fucking no. <laughs> I was hoping you did, but hey, it's alright. We can spend some more time just looking around. Yeah, that's always good. Good sights to see. Hanging out nice. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> Uh, but something happens just then. Uh, oh, yeah. You, one moment you're kind of, like, walking along him, and, he, like, he's holding both the box and the the fish on top of it. Oh, and no, And the next I was moment, the like, fish. everything feel everything looks real dark, and, uh, you feel something smack against your cheek. Oh, good. Oh, and good. And you realize that the smack against your cheek was the ground, and the darkness is you starting to lose consciousness. Oh great! <laughs> so looks like you looks like you actually ate raw fish. Yeah. Oh, I've eaten raw fish. Lug di so rusty dice from salmonella. Yeah. Uh, the the last bit you hear before uh, before completely gonking out uh, is uh, a struggle and then something running away. God, damn! I'm gonna wake up with my four barter gone. All my my infinite. If that fish is gone, I'm gone. going to I'm going to bust. Fish. Rusty wakes up and he's missing a kidney. He has a weird stitch in his side. He doesn't know what it's about. My sick knife. At least gone. at least he my gets. My desert knife gone. My new you, boyfriend uh... gone. <laughs> okay, slow down though. <laughs> uh, you do wake up eventually though. You you wake up in a, a very dingy uh, area lit by a single light bulb, and standing there is our three people. Oh, uh, you are tied up very tightly to a chair. Uh, uh, you see, not racist, very racist, and a third figure, which which is a Lord much Humphrey. much shorter uh, figure, a bit more skinny and less uh, big. Uh, and they uh, they see your awakening, like, hmm. nice for you to uh, join us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> My name is Barbie Shrimp. You might know me. 
See, I run things around here, and nothing that comes in my holding leaves my attention. Yeah. You see, I'm a scholar of sorts. I'm uh -huh. a person who knows a lot. I've got a very big brain. Much uh, bigger than <laughs> you simpletons. And, uh... Yeah. So, first things first. Uh-uh. Where is the Logia's egg? Yeah. <laughs> don't want to talk, I see. That's I just don't know what you're talking about. The artifact. I have good intel that tells me that you had it on you all day today. Yeah. Some very, uh, talkative little birds. Well, it's a bird. I don't know. They talk a lot, though. Ah, uh, Giuseppe. <laughs> <laughs> I see you gotta go kill a man named Giuseppe. Yeah. Yes, that's a nope. that's a name, isn't it? Don't, don't uh, let not me racist. Out. And it's like, yes, sir. That's a name that we recognize. Do you don't want let us me to, out. Uh, so yes, <laughs> uh, you out. please pay them a visit, the both of you. Hey, and can like, you tell them hello for me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, tell them tell I got something good. Don't uh, they tell them the I room. got a cool knife. They leave the room. Uh. It's like, you won't be needing that knife where you're going, pal. Yeah, I will. So. Boy, don't, I can't if you don't want I need to, that knife. If you don't want to tell me where the egg is, then I can make you telling me where the egg is. Oh, uh, egg? <laughs> yeah, I know what an egg is. Oh, you do? Feeling talkative yeah. now, aren't you? Isn't that thing, that thing you cook? I fed I an egg once. I see you're still in the mood to make jokes, but that won't be for very long. Uh, uh hold on, before you go on, what's my fucking torment? Ah, uh, you I probably- healed? you healed it. You healed it. Okay, okay, cause I feel this thing coming, and I need to know. Uh, and they- they do a little clap. Uh, bring it over. And, uh, a- a masked, uh, uh assistant, uh, walks yeah. over uh -huh. with, uh, a tray, uh, on a wheeled tray. Uh, and they're like, oh. Uh, uh, no. You know, I've been able- I haven't done this a whole lot, so I may be a bit of an amateur at this field. Uh, but I've been told that uh, enhanced interrogation is an art. Uh-huh. One in which I would frankly love to perfect, and uh, you're going to help me out with that. And he uh, pulls, oh, cool. off, yeah. he pulls off the, the, the sheet, and uh, there's pliers and knives and uh, <laughs> some real wicked-looking stuff, uh, <laughs> as well as some blood bags and uh, alcohol and... Uh, painkillers. Uh, I see the paint. Can I... Can I roll to manipulate this human being? Uh, I think that'll come at some other point. Because oh. uh, he ends... Uh, we're gonna end the session with... Uh, oh. You're gonna tell me what I want, or we're gonna take everything you have. End session. I love it. I was so hot on talking fish for a while. <laughs> while. <laughs> so, I, so, I, 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 you're only on the fish. I'm, I'm still. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm a big dummy. Not end session with that. Okay. Uh, Lug. By that point, you've come back to yeah, Giuseppe, uh, and you're probably discussing like, uh, you know, the thing. Right. Right. Or you're you're about to. I think you get there at the same time that you see another person frantically running. In your direction, and you see right. Isle, and they've got oh, blood no. running off, uh, running down like the the back of their head. Like oh. Rusty's in trouble, and then collapses. Ah oh, hell! Good thing he probably left a trail to follow. Yeah. But and that's end of session. That's end of session. That's end of session. Not my fucking new Dang new it. boyfriend. I just like went oh, very, like, very, this very sudden, you, very your fast. Boyfriend I knew this was run away. Yeah, not Rusty's boyfriend, my boyfriend. So yeah, he's half <laughs> your age. He's thirty. No, wait, no, that's Conquer. Uh, it's Conquer. Is Conquer actually thirty-five, or is he's he just thirty-seven? Pretending he's 35. Conquer, Conquer's thirty-five. He's thirty-seven. <laughs> he's thirty-seven, but literally everyone thinks he's thirteen. Yeah. He's like he's one just, of those he's just like short and annoying. Yeah. 
I'm glad. And he doesn't have facial hair. <laughs> Maybe I, I should send Conker after these thugs instead of kidnapped Westy. That's make Conker rob. <laughs> hey, Conker, you want in the band? Come help us, dude. I, I've got like why'd a tight bomb on me now. Why did you write a. Uh... <laughs> Real quick, why'd you write, I'm about to kill Rusty? <laughs> I'm about to get Rusty killed in this situation. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're about to snark too much, and you're going to make Sorry, him lose all his fucking toes. Yeah. I was coughing while I had Mike on. It's fine. Yeah, you sure did. It's okay. Hey, dude, you yeah. want to, hey, you want a show? You want a free show, dude? You're yeah, gonna, so, you're uh... Gonna hit me, you're going to hit, hey, you're going to hit me with that, with that bat. you hit me with that bat, you better kill me in one shot. You better kill me in one make shot, it hurt. you better make it hurt. You better give me fast. God. Okay, so uh thoughts? Loved it. That was that was a really good session. A lot of like character building, which I liked a lot. Rusty finally. I got to play Giuseppe. I got to play Giuseppe as a complete moron. <laughs> not a moron, I guess. Just more just like not doesn't know what's going on anymore. I like that Lug didn't get to defend himself. That's not a joke. I honestly like that Lug didn't get to defend himself when he was being an asshole to Rusty. <laughs> Just like Fuzz shows up and is like, "Stop being a dick." Yeah. Is in the, uh, Seth, can you yeah. do me a favor yeah, in what? editing? Yeah. What? In that point, around that point, like when Fuzz does that can, in the top corner of the screen, can you put Lug will remember that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, you are you are you're too willing to like uh, it's a lot of fun. suffer our requests. It's a lot of fun. Okay. I'm gonna have I'm, to, hey, I'm gonna have to sit fun. here and put a little cinder bar on SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like you'll applause. have a lot of fun uh, editing this Listen, one. I had a lot of um, fun putting in Tito Dick Dick Man Baby into one of the sessions. <laughs> I can't remember which. Session. I'm 100 percent sure that's not his fucking name. <laughs> his name is Tito Dick Dick it's, Man. It's, yeah, it, it is, and then that's how it goes in the song. Is Tito. No, the song Dick says that, but like, his name no, is, his name is Tito Dick. Yeah. His nickname is Dick Man. His name is Tito, quote unquote, Dick. His name is Richard Tito Dick a Cabeza. Yeah, yeah. He's 65. <laughs> oh, uh, please, Dick, please, Dick Man is my father's name. God. Call me Dick. God. Jeez. This was a good session. It was. I like how Giuseppe yeah, keeps, good. like, turning into a coward at every corner. He doesn't know, you like, know, why all these people keep finding him and, like, acting no. weird. I'm, I'm seeing it in a different light. I'm seeing it how he was saying how he's, he's going through the path of least resistance. I, I like think that's that. what I said, but, yeah. uh... Yeah, I like that a lot, though. <laughs> It's right. good. He doesn't, that's like, want to, like, hurt anyone, but he's in this right. position where, like, he can't, like, be forceful anymore, he, so he's just, like... I mean, you yeah, can, you, you just you have do. to suffer, like, whatever consequences or drama. Yeah, and I have to, like, roll to get good rolls. And I gotta say get that, good uh, roll, so I think Giuseppe, so I think Rusty's planning mutiny. I gotta say, I really like that, uh, you had me, uh... What? Well, I, I, you didn't... Well, I, I, I like that you, uh invited Isle along. <laughs> it had a lot of color to Listen. uh You think Giuseppe I mean Rusty's gonna just leave him there? Giuseppe I don't Rusty's know, he'd probably be Rusty's like, hey like, bye friend. No, Rusty's I'm gonna like, go back. Hey dude, let's hang out. Rusty just wants to hang out with everybody. Yeah. I like uh, the, that shopkeep man. What did you say his name was? Which one? Derek? No. The excited no, one? The, the sad <laughs> one? No, from Lugs. Prospector. Oh, uh, his name was like Ellen something. I have it here. I let's see. His name I... is Eli the Generosity. I'm pretty sure I said like Ellen Goldman. Yeah, Ellen Goldman sounds right. Yeah. Goldman. If if we're being honest, I just like was looking at the savvy head names and came and like chose those two. <laughs> uh, but that's good. what like you know. Hey. That's like most of the names. I like Alan Goldman a lot. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> I'm sitting here this whole time whenever he was making that deal to ask uh, Lug to go steal everything from the warehouse. Like, I don't. What? I don't. I don't. I feel like Lug couldn't do that or wouldn't do that. I don't think he would either, and that's why I think we should get Conker to do it instead. 
Especially for something he has zero clue about. Okay, you want you want a spoiler? You want a spoiler on what I'm gonna try and do? Or I was, but then you blew off all your money. Or are you gonna ask uh, me for money? To try to shower Ellen in, like, money? <laughs> no. To buy it, to try and buy out the warehouse. No, that's way more barter than that. Yeah, I, I only had 14 to begin with. We just, oh, we so just... 25 here, barter. Yeah, here, he has to play, and Lug goes to the warehouse owner. Lug says, okay, you, you know, know me. <laughs> And Lug, roll, Lug rolls a 14 on Seduce and Manipulate. He wins, I'm actually, he wins uh, it. I'm actually a bit uh, surprised that you didn't use your reputation move. Which reputation <gasps> move? Uh, Lug. Lug, I guess you'll have to try to use it next uh, session. Well, I mean, next session, we're probably going to get to deal with... What's his name? I think that'll be fun. Uh, sure, Who, uh, Barbie, yeah. Barbie Shrimp. Barbie Shrimp. I kind of want to do shopping next session, but I think, like, that that may have to come <laughs> later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My good not-friend Rusty is... Uh... Tonk. Oh, yeah, let's go shopping. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Isle. <laughs> no, I, 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 I trust Isle. I just... The himbo. You trust Isle? Yeah, what? You trust him? I, I don't know. Maybe I don't, actually. Giuseppe he's a, he's a cult. The cultist yeah. I, I, I know... Le the, Let's see. In the cult, in the order of people I trust at the moment, I think I trust Lost and Found the least because they're they're mean to me. <laughs> and then I trust Rusty, and then everyone else is like just somewhere. I somewhat trust Rusty because I've known him for a long time, but he scares me. Then everyone else, I'm like okay with. <laughs> you like everybody else but Rusty. Huh. Fuck you, Rusty. I like Rusty. I Rusty. just wish he would be so like creepy. He's not creepy. He's just weird. Yeah, just to make sure that uh, I don't know if it was like understandable in my pronunciation, but here's the spelling for the Logia's egg. Logia. It's me, your brother, Logie. <laughs> uh, yeah. How would y'all like my handling of all that? This was good. Uh, was interesting. Fun. I like how you built it up. Yeah. Once again. <laughs> I will be in withdrawal for however long it will take us to do another session. Hopefully not more than a week, because I don't have any more uh, uh, I may not actually have. I may not actually have guests next week, so I could be able to do it then, but not cool. the week after that. I'll be on vacation. Oh. How long is that going to last? Uh, just a week, and then I'm back, and then I, have to, and then I don't know what plans are. Okay. Where are you going for your vacation? Yeah. Uh, I'm going down to the beach over in North Carolina, I think. Cool. Oh, yeah. Just a family. Yeah, you can you while you're sitting at the beach, you can like imagine what you're gonna do. I could actually something. maybe I don't know if I have good Wi-Fi. I could try to deep blues. I don't know though. Uh, don't worry. God damn it! About I, it. We we immediately went into the fucking discussion. And I forgot to do the moves. Fucking end of session moves. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah, do this before I was, we keep I was going. waiting for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's, that's on me. Uh, we got off track. Okay. Who knows who better? <laughs> who knows who better? Uh, who knows Seth or uh, yeah. who knows Rusty? Who knows Seth <laughs> more? Who the fuck is that? Who knows me more? I mean, both this? both Lug and Giuseppe have had like pretty like averse reactions to Rusty today. I yeah, say... And Rusty's still been pretty amicable in general. Uh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna opt for Giuseppe yeah. because Giuseppe was that because Giuseppe was in a position where Rusty could have taken advantage of and he didn't. I think That's Rusty true. or Giuseppe would know one more. Yeah, he really just kind of gave him the house keys and like Rusty didn't steal anything. No. Okay, so that'll get me another point. I'm getting to this next improvement fast, since I cool. just had this goes back to plus one. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of rolling to th today, but did anybody like? There was no improvements, right? I got no. two improvements. I got two. I mean, yeah. I got two experience, yeah. not improvements. Right. Would you say that? Uh... I'll fix it too. Oh, close. Uh, if yeah, I'm close. I got one left. Oh, nice. So, uh, who knows Giuseppe better? Hmm. If I'm gonna be the first first to to suggest, I'd say Rusty, because mm -hmm. like there wasn't a whole lot of interaction between Giuseppe and Lug, and like Rusty spoke to him and like saw that Giuseppe is obviously like real fucking on edge. All right. He's acting real weird, is the point, and you like whereas Lug didn't really like do much with uh with him. Mm -hmm. So mark that, right?
for me. Yep. That cool. means I get my improvement. Oh shit! Yeah, so. Nice. Is this your first bottom line improvement? Uh, no, I have. No, this is my this fifth. is his final one before that. Yeah, so I'm gonna use okay. this. Yep. And Next improvement, this. you could do some cool shit though if you want. Yeah, I get to look through the playbooks. I can get a whole thing. I can get party. I can improve my stats. Mm-hmm. World, my oyster. I'm still debating the merits of another character. I know I keep saying that every session, just like. It may be fun. I mean, yeah. Like, I wouldn't say no. Uh, finally, who knows? Lug better. Lug locked me out we of know this it. workshop. <laughs> Lug told me to get out of his workshop and lock the doors. And put the board over. Yeah, he put a door. board over my face twice. When all I wanted to do was check up on Quill. His rules are rules, and they've been broken so many times today already. Listen, I was- Rusty was not breaking a rule by standing in the window and knocking at the door. Mm -hmm. He waited. Rusty waited his turn he... to come in. That just means I need to get a no soliciting sign. Yeah, that- like, that's gonna do anything for fucking Rusty. Yeah, yeah, here's a sign with words on it, Rusty. Have fun reading it, you asshole. Like I need to post an image. Are you posting the one with DW? Please post the one with DW. Cause... Not that one, a different one that I like a lot. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyways. Would you, I think, would you say that Rusty knows Lug better? <laughs> this one has like the text cut off of it. It's supposed to stay like, huh, I wonder who's that. who that's for. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah, so Rusty knows better? I think so. Okay, mark it. On my end. Yeah. Uh, by the by, just to there. just to make uh, it obvious, if you wanted to write down that new shawl, uh, it would have the uh, tag ornate, which is plus valuable. So like ornate shawl, uh, valuable. Me, me say, and Lug are going to have like buddy cop next session, so this is going to even out. Oh, man, <laughs> I got a nice new shawl. Everything's so good. Are oh, you gonna have to? You're gonna have to draw Rusty's new outfit now. Just it's just gonna be blue. <laughs> Palette swap. Player two, Rusty. Player two. Pretty much. God. Uh, we good with body harm? I am. I have no damage. Okay. And. Uh... I know you're not great with, like, self-harm. I you know you like cutting off fingers. You don't like that? No, nah, I'm just asking so I can be prepared. Uh, I'll say that cutting off may be a thing. I'm excited. Man. Mangling. Oh, I can't wait to session finally, 15. I... <laughs> so finally, I won't be, finally, I won't be the only person missing some part of their body. Well, I guess Quill's missing part of her body. Yeah, it's kind of fucked was... up that, like, y'all were like, haha. Who's gonna be losing the leg and the arm and the it's part my and the turn. eye? And then it's, it's like, my turn. and it's like, well, first it was you that lost the eye. Then it was Quill. Quill. Why Quill lose your leg? Why did Quill lose her leg? It's my turn. Time, I zigged time, when you thought I'd zag. Time for Rusty final to set, use final session. AKP. Final boss. Uh, Frankenstein's monster of all the body parts we've lost. Oh God! Please no. Hey, also, Josie, just, just- That's where they've been going. This isn't a, 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 something ahead of time. You don't have to discuss this with me. Go ahead. Fuck him up. I, Fuck him up. I, I wanted it to be a surprise to me. I meant more like because, like, hey, does anyone have any things about this kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, I know. Oh, I should be fine. It's like a con- Like, it, con are, like, extended I scenes in, I, are extended scenes of torture something that you really don't want to see? That's I true. think I can deal with I, If I get uncomfortable, I can tune out. How did I, you I, feel I, about- How did you feel about, like, uh- Ra or the racist uh, couple. It was Are they hilarious. actually racist, or is that just the name? That's, That's the their name. names. Not okay, racist, in very, like, not as was... their first name, racist as the last name. Oh my god, that's even better. I thought it was just, like, one whole name. <laughs> nope. They were they were very loud, but... I, and I also had to yell very loud, it may have woken up my house, but I think it was a very good scene. Yeah, I like how they got loud and then quiet, and then loud again. I hope we don't... I I, I, I I especially I, love the this is the former trading hub. 
Yeah, it's real good. I hope that I, I hope that I don't have to kill them when they come over when they like much over to me and ask me for my credentials tomorrow. Yeah. How'd you feel about them like kinda not really betraying you because they don't really know you, but like being the ones like with Barbie? Uh-huh. It was a little it was it felt it did feel like a little bit like betrayal. Uh, it felt I like I the... guy. It felt like, oh yeah. Yeah, they they seem like yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I kinda <laughs> I just kinda ex- I guess I kinda expect like, you know, the way I see it is to make a comparison that literally no one will get because someone here still hasn't played Pointless. It, is, it feels feels like feels like one of Roland's lackeys. They're doing it because they're there and they're more powerful. Okay. I hope uh, the, you, I hope punk. like one of our two viewers uh, understands that reference. I don't. I'll play Lisa someday. Josie, um, play Pointless. Ah, uh, someday. To be honest, um, if I was going to play another, like, little RPG thing beyond the one that I'm already playing, I'd probably be playing some of uh, Rust's other, or uh, LOL's other stuff. Um, the person who made uh, Dot Flow. Because hmm. they have at least, like, three or four other games. Uh, let's see, um, considering that we have a, an improvement on our hands, uh, what are you thinking? Uh, I'm probably going to look... Uh, I should probably get it near the mic so then it picks up on uh, recording. I'm probably gonna look through the move sets real quick. Think okay. about it. Think about it. Think about it. Uh, look through the follower options. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. And if I can't make up my mind, I will probably get a uh plus hard. Otherwise. Mm. Okay. Plus hard or plus sharp, one of the two, because they're both useful to me. That's true. Um, I'm never going to get a improvement on cool. I just need you guys to know I'm forever keeping that negative on cool. Understandable. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Because <laughs> uh, that's it. <laughs> that's, that negative one cool is now part of resting. Can't change it. Uh, let's see, though. I'll think it over and I'll let you know. Okay. Um. How'd you like that black market? I loved it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. All those scenes were very good. I, also I know that really I'm, like... I'm not very, I'm very. It's very rare that I'm like vivid with descriptions, but uh, I feel like I might have like failed at showing like what I wanted with that. Do you want to go again? You want to describe it further? Nah, well, not um, like if you ever go back, but yeah, I'm just I mentioned I'd like to I'm visit and get more like, talking fish. I I mention it because like you know that's just a problem that I have with like you know here's a scene here's the stuff happening, but I don't talk about like where it is and what's going on and mm-hmm. you know the state of the place. You know I don't I don't dress the scene, which is like kind of a really really big thing you got to do. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I liked how it was Hollister, but better. More or less. <laughs> yeah, yeah. this place has fucking lights. It doesn't look dilapidated. Great. It's got a fancier bar than the Exodia. That's rude. <laughs> it's true. We I'm try so our sorry. Best. I'm so sorry. All you got is the, the fanciest thing you've got is a fucking big gulp plastic, like, cup. Okay? I think that's. I think people would die for a big gulp. Uh, Rusty didn't have to. Mm. <laughs> All Rusty had um, to do was sit there slumped over the bar and it just said, he's like, oh no, this motherfucker's coming to get me. Oh god, oh god, our oh shit. Uh, fuck. My city now. <laughs> yeah, Rusty slumped over, not saying anything, just said, in his head, oh shit, oh shit, Rusty city now. Rusty, I guess I gotta give Rusty the keys to the bar. Oh, I guess Rusty's eating the keys to the bar. Here you go, Resto. Thanks, Moss. <laughs> Just fucking... <laughs> yeah, go get the broom out of the closet and sweep around a little bit. Which he didn't do! The most he swept was... Is he still ha- what? I hope he still has the broom on him somewhere. No, no, he put it back. Aww. Aww, yeah. Hey, what did those dudes steal from me, off of me? 
Uh, you woke up with uh, probably nothing but your underclothes. I don't like the fact that Rusty is near naked. Don't like you this thought. Uh, like, Shut legit up. don't like? Like, eh, but, or, like... <laughs> I don't want to think about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't want to think about well, it. We gotta have, gonna... You gotta have him at his well, lowest before he can go to his highest. Man, do you well, think he we cares? Know... We know what's no. getting cut off now. <laughs> Shut up. No! <laughs> Rusty sitting is sitting butt ass naked. Do you think I care? Do you think I care? Then I'm like, naked, dude. I'm free. Dude, why do you leave some on? It's like, sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> they didn't ask. I'm the freest. Do you I've think ever I care? Been. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not owned. I'm not owned. <laughs> why do you leave stuff on? <laughs> this is the freest I've ever been. Thank you, Barbie Shrimp. <laughs> In this moment, I am euphoric. <laughs> In this moment, I am naked. You know, it takes a lot of IQ, uh, high IQ to understand the, uh, the Blue Finger cult. It takes a high IQ to appreciate being naked in front of a man you don't know. Man, my followers have fucking plus disease in their want. And this man is like, yeah, yeah, in order to humiliate this tall ass motherfucking piece of shit looking asshole i'm gonna get him naked <laughs> yeah that'll humiliate this man <laughs> and if only we went after the dude with the mask <laughs> if only we went after the dude with the eye patch he would care giuseppe would fucking care <laughs> All giuseppe the would giuseppe would be a, yeah 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 cut, cut off a finger go yeah go ahead just yeah, yeah all right just give me my clothes back. i don't know Gun tie me, please. I'll tell you about the egg, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sort of interested in, like, what uh, Rusty's reaction will be to the, you know, interrogation. You know, God, well, he's Whether he'll just... immediately be like, fuck, no, I, I'll tell you uh, my social security cards. <laughs> or if he'll be like, fuck you, spits, and also gets his fucking hand cut off. He's... Listen, listen, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. During the, um... The whole Lenark fight. Yeah. There was a point where I really wanted to spit in her face, and I almost said, "All right, I want to spit in her face," but I had to remember I had a mask. <laughs> I think I almost heard that at one point. Yeah. Like I heard you say that, but then like you were like, "No, actually." Oh wait, hold on. Actually, oh, hold on. <laughs> what what makes a call shot to spit into someone's face <laughs> through his mask? Fucking hawks a loogie. Right, he ho he hocks it and it just gets in his mask and it drips slowly. Like, oh no! I I it's been reversed. I <laughs> fucked myself. I've been owned. I've been owned. It's cool, dude. I do the same thing sometimes. Rusty spits on himself. <laughs> I mean, please stop. He was please there, don't. He was sitting there wiping his own mouth the whole time during the first day of coming out of it. Okay. Like, I made sure to say that. <laughs> Rusty just wiping his mouth on everything. <laughs> just like H. H comes over to the Rusty. Hey, Rusty, um. Can I borrow. Rusty wipes his mouth on H. <laughs> he wipes his mouth on Isle. <laughs> ah, so sick, dude. Ah, uh, dude, I see you're coming on to me, huh? Yo, Rusty, that's hot. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to make uh, Isle nearly so, like, obviously your type, <laughs> but hey, I'm not gonna complain if, if I get only allowed, he I was having a crop top, that's all he's missing. <laughs> well, he's already got- he's got-, he's got what more do you top. want from a tank top with boy on it? <laughs> if it was a little like, shredded like... up at the bottom? <laughs> Even like Cadios or something, like fake Cadios. He's a millionaire. He can't have that. He's got the fake little mouse ears. He's already got like mouse he's got mousy ears and a, a mouth that like looks a little too intimidating. God. Or in my book, a shark face. I'm gonna fucking rot. <laughs> God, I, I wish I was to, like, uh, Listen, listen. I'm sorry, yeah. but this entire session was. Well, I'm joking, of course, but this entire session was super uncomfortable because. Uh, each word when we were talking about Eisel, I was worried like oh, this is this gonna... and because then you were like an Eisel pulls and it was oh god don't say pulls down your pants don't say pulls down your pants <laughs> oh no 
Hey, it's a shame we got rid of the special moves. God, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> but then you're like, no, Izo pulls out this cloth, and then I'm just kind of internally going, Oh god. Oh, oh thank god. <laughs> Man, it's a shame I can't hang out with Isle after this now. Fucking date's ruined. Why not? Date's ruined. Uh, it's ruined only been enhanced. What are you talking about? You know what? You get right. one. You only Just get like one you chance. <laughs> do not miss your opportunity to blow. You know what I can do with this right. hand? <laughs> ooh, ooh, notices your bulge. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, oh, he like hello, that. everybody. It seems I got my hand cut off. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Just please. Hey, Wug. Can can I borrow you're gonna, a glove? You're gonna lose the other one. I love, you're gonna lose. The I love other how we're one. all assuming that he's going to lose an arm. That's what we're going to. <laughs> Sorry, Rusty, but you lost your arm. We have to throw you overboard. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm telling you, this is just gonna be Finn Mertens, where the egg is just going to merge into your new arm. God, I wish. I don't. I don't want to become Gormizer. Become... <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm Smee. Well, I don't want to. It's gonna, if it happens, it happens. But I, wanna. I don't want to become a, a, a sobbing little baby. I don't want that. Dress you it's not gonna Too bad. <laughs> I'm sorry I stole one of those questions, those read it the open your brain questions, Josie, on when was when was the last time Rusty cried? <laughs> you can always say before all this. That's always an option. God. I was gonna say something else. Um, I I, I like the conquer scene a lot. That oh, was yeah. fun. I'm gonna pick this. Conquer yeah, I knew is very was going good. Coming this session because you asked with a picture of him, but just like I didn't expect to go that way. I, I'm gonna pick conquer up and throw him in the fucking ocean. <laughs> Conquer's very pickupable and throwable. Also, I just liked getting to call him Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> I'm gonna. Yeah, that was really good. <laughs> I gotta uh, edit an image of somebody throwing a baseball, but it's conquer as a ball. <laughs> he's gonna need to draw conquer more. He's he's now the star. I need I need to to draw gold, man. God, you do. We, we now have to draw. Oh, yeah, all the that's characters. what I think. I remember. I remember my next project was gonna be besides this possible new character. I need to redesign- I need to design the other three regular customers. Oh, you do. When will Jerry yeah, become the... a regular? God! Jerry is not coming. <laughs> Jerry does not drink alcohol. <laughs> you don't know that. I give- I give Jerry an, a bottle of alcohol and he just drinks the glass. <laughs> and the wa and the alcohol just splashes onto the floor. No, the alcohol stays solid, as if it were still in a glass. <laughs> God, just like a video game glitch. <laughs> <laughs> No. Game theory is Jerry a glitch? We come back onto the, we come back onto the Exodia. Just sit, or, or Jerry is Jerry's sitting there. No, Jerry's sitting yeah. there. Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Hey, everybody. It's He's clipped into the wall. Hey, everybody. It's Jerry here with another call out post for Giuseppe. This motherfucker took my goddamn egg and gave it to his stupid ass friend. I'm about to come over there and ruin his day. I'm about to ruin this whole man's career. I'm. I tried to buy alcohol from this man for several months now, and each time I see him, he screams and runs away and grabs the gun. <laughs> this is terrible service. Get a zero star review on Yelp. <laughs> Giuseppe now has to buy pay Yelp to remove the review. First, he has to buy a computer and internet access. <laughs> He's got that. Lug's got that. Hey, yeah. Hey, Lug, you wanna play Lug, Minecraft? Can Lug, can you access Hypnospace? Can I borrow some wood? Hey, Lug. Hey, Lug, you got any Bitcoin? 
The man down here says I gotta have Bitcoin. He don't take barter. He don't take jingle. Lug actually goes to a real mine to look for Bitcoin. <laughs> it's kind of scary that he managed to, like, go down into a mine that wasn't flooded. But it's impressive, nonetheless. Finally, that pickaxe gets used for what it's made for. <laughs> no, that pickaxe is gonna get used when we make it to, uh, to Prosper, and they're like, We need you to sweat the island in two for no real reason. <laughs> because That'd be Giuseppe's Prosper, job. Giuseppe has no, more experience. Prosper, Prosper is just super weird. There's so many good uh, islands I want to visit now. I, I talked to you about the, uh... The ideas I had for Prosper, right? Uh, that I thought would be super fucking funny. Uh, the one where everybody, mm. like, everybody knows all the shit that's been told about it, and it's all true. Okay, no, the, that's part of it. There's there's two variants I came up with. The first variant being uh, that anybody at the, the island is cursed to where anything said about it is true. Uh, and the second... The second one was that uh, nothing is actually, nothing that's been said is true about the island, but, like, everyone knows, like, everyone on the island knows of the rumors being spread about Prosper, and they're just super fucking upset about this slander being told about their island. What? I love that. And it's like, they, they, they see it, so, yeah, you're the motherfuckers spreading shit around. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm, uh... I sure am spreading something, huh? Man, you're not- you're not even with the hembo. <laughs> Don't gotta be. <laughs> I wanna- I wanna just Jonathan's. I think Jonathan's will be fun. I'm excited for Jonathan's. We're giving I, I hope- I hope Zeep is real. I'm gonna kill Zeep. I am- I would- watch. Hey, everybody, fucking watch this. No, no, no! No, the recordings! No! <gasps> Zeep's fucking dead, how does that feel now? Huh? This feels like someone's <laughs> gonna have to do a bit more editing. No, Zeep's just doing the Fred boat. Just, just like, replace this with, like, something. Yeah. The plug has become Catholic again. No, no, replace it with, uh... What do you want? Just put the laying down lug there, where Zeep was. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Sorry, I'm on the laptop now. That's cool. Because I'm looking at um, Zeep. What else do you want to say about the session? It's okay, Zeep's back. It was good. It was very good. This is one of my favorites. I say that about every week, but this was Listen, especially a good one. Because it keeps getting better. To. It keeps building up and getting better. Like we hit, yeah, we hit the stride. I think, like, as soon as, like, we hit... You know, maybe it was when we... Maybe it was as soon as the pansy was brought out that, like, we went from, like, good to great. Yeah. I think uh, the pansy was the key to all of this. Yeah. Uh, the pansy set the mood, and the mood was good. I, I feel like I say this for every session, but I'm fucking excited. I'm now really excited for fucking deep blues. <laughs> when will next week happen? Hey, hey, time, can we speed it up a little bit so then I can experience deep blues again? <laughs> this is always the highlight of my fucking week. <laughs> Honestly, same. Yeah, I needed this today. I was been like kind of like unwound for most of the for this week, and I'm feeling better now. Well, I'm glad you're feeling good. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. hopefully I'm less stressed for the rest of the week. Hopefully. So something I I do wanna I do wanna talk about something I was thinking. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, with, um, that weird metal thing that moves, I was thinking, hang on, okay, I wanna look at the, 
Prostatics page again. This would it would be interesting. Uh, I was thinking, what if somehow with this it would be with strengths it would be integrated with the meat, and the weakness would be itchy. But in the sense of it itches just like regular skin itches. Thoughts? Hmm. I'm sorry, I've zonked out. Uh, I was saying, I was thinking of possibilities with that metal thing. And I was thinking, what if, like, if that was used for the leg, what if uh, the, the strength was integrated with the meat, but the weakness was itchy? But that's in the sense of, like, it itches like regular skin would itch. Just kind of food for thought. Just like a right. rash. Well, no, no, it'll be like, you know how, like, sometimes you just get an itch? Oh, yeah. It's not gonna be like psoriasis where it itches all the time. Nah. Damn. What a shame. Quill could have been relatable. <laughs> <laughs> well, is she not relatable enough? Does she need to lose... Does she need to, to lose another foot first? <laughs> I got both my legs. Quill doesn't deserve any of this. No, she doesn't. She doesn't even... She shouldn't have to suffer on the Exodia. She just wants to, like, go to a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. That's all she needs. <laughs> and she can't have a beautiful wife because I need her for my band. Yeah, she, she can have Fuzz. Fuzz is there? She can, she can hang out with Fuzz? Sorry, everybody. I have to stop. My boat is in a beautiful house, though. It could be. It could be someday. If you let- hey, hey, okay, now here's an idea for you, okay? Here's the idea, let me build the boat. No, 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 okay. Hey, Bob, I'm speaking directly into your ear. You're speaking directly into your ear, alright? Alright? Yes. Okay. Give Rusty the keys to the boat, alright? He'll make it good. He promises. He'll eat them. He'll eat- Okay. He'll eat the boat, okay. so then okay, Lug can boomer. make it new. <laughs> Stop it. Stop, stop. <laughs> Rusty is living the life I wish I was living. <laughs> he's we about all to, wish we were he's like about Rusty. to lose so many fingers, Seth. Yeah, but he's got Isle there. <laughs> Isle is bleeding on the boat. Yeah, he exists. He's left a trail of blood to the alley. Listen, real, the, the blue is just an entirety... An entire space where a bunch of gay and trans people exist. And they're all fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ideal, dude. Horny on blue. Horny on blue. <laughs> everyone everyone is here. We got we got the we got the clone society, we got these people with animal ears, we got Guy Fieri, we yeah, got Vinny Vinesauce. Vinny from Vine Sauce is here, but he's not like. <laughs> Except he doesn't do duck sounds and said he just makes sexy thing. Don't, don't, why are you doing this? You want me to play? It's true. You want me to post sex now again? Sex star now? No, don't post sex star now. Okay, new, new rule. Yep. New rule. Yep. I'm, I'm gonna. I need to make a new rule. Okay. If you. If. If you. Yeah. Are going to post sex star now. You need to make a new image for it. You can make okay. new images and stockpile okay. them, okay. but each sex star now you post has to be a different image. Okay, they have to be different images. Okay, I'll- uh, you know what, I'll do that. That means I can draw more sex star now. You guys have to suffer like through this. more sex star now. This is a hindrance to you guys. <laughs> when do you realize Nah, that? this is just entertainment to me. You wanna see how much- how sexy sex star now can get? I don't like this. <laughs> Why have you done this? Look at how they massacred my boy. <laughs> Did you like him to begin with? Not really. No. I'm making him better. I just... <laughs> the million dollar man, I'm making him better. Only I'm I'm only spending like the fifty bucks I spent on my tablet to make him better though. Bye, right, bye everyone. Bye everyone. See you soon. Josie bye. says bye.